Here we go. We have a loaded show tonight, everybody. So stay tuned, stay buckled. I'm, I'm not even kidding. There's a ton of information that we have to get out to you. It's going to kind of come in waves. But above all, we want to enjoy each other's company, have a great time. First off, this is about Fable tonight. Secondly, I would like to introduce the gentleman in the room with me. To my side over here, I've got Mr. Shark Week. I got Mr. Shark. I got Mr. Regrowth of the Beard Journey. His name is Mo. Mo, how you doing? I'm good, brother. I'm excited about this, man. I've been waiting six months for this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's – I don't think a lot of people realize this has literally been six months in the making. I actually went back on my Instagram thing, and people uh, were like, you're going live tonight? What, what's going on? You're doing the – this has been scheduled, not just talked about, mm. scheduled for six months now. So this has been building up. And actually, the, the Vault website has been live for six months, which is really cool. And the gentleman below me here is Mr. Motivation, Mr. Longest Beard of His Life, Mr. Good Luck, Mr. Moving to Minnesota, <laughs> a.k.a. Master Barber, Dave, the Beard of Motivation. Hey, what's up, guys? Nice to see you all. Thanks mm -hmm. for having me, Dan. It's nice to be here. Yes. And everybody, please, if you are watching, first and foremost, as it says at the bottom, you cannot comment unless you're subscribed to this channel. So that's a good thing is everybody that we see in the comments, they are subscribed. Also, please sign up and uh, subscribe to these gentlemen's pages. They have their name right there. If you search Mo the Bearded Shark, you got it. If you search Bearded Motivation, you got it. And if you can't do that, there are direct links to their channels and the Fable uh, YouTube channel in the description. So just check those ones out. And we've got some exclusive, exclusive tonight. And the only way some people are going to know about this is if you guys share this. And that's from Fable. He has that actually in my show notes. So if you guys can have uh, have that shared away, that's going to be really, really important. The Fable Vault is better than the Disney Vault. Facts. Absolutely facts here. So I'm going to kick it over to Mo. He's going to talk about the kind of and none of this is planned, by the way. He has no idea what I'm about to tell. Uh, I'm going to kick it over to Mo, and he's going to tell you about the concept behind this idea. And we're not going to tell you what's in the vault yet. We're not going to give you the code. If you're here tonight, it actually does not open until tomorrow. You guys get the exclusive early code. And Mo's going to tell you the whole idea behind this. Then Dave's going to tell you about the what's actually in the vault, and then we'll make it official. And we do have stream exclusive giveaways, five different giveaways of what's in the vault. All you got to do is enter and be in the stream, be subscribed. And then there's going to be exclusive giveaways for when you purchase and a little a bit of a little goodie in there when you purchase as well. Oh, so, Mo, ah, hey, hi, we're, we're, let's tease them <laughs> a little bit. But, uh, Mo, what uh, what do we actually have going on with this whole idea? What is the, the Fable Vault? What's happened? What's going on? So the Fable Vault is all about the people, the people that support Fable, the people that has known Fable and Colin since the start, the time that he started. So you ever heard the saying, one famous person said, it started from the bottom, now we're here. So mm. same thing with Fable. Fable started from the bottom and now he's here. And number one thing about Colin and the Fable team is they want to give back to the people that support him. And this is what it's about. This isn't about Fable Beard Company any further than it already is. But at this moment, the Fable Vault is about the people that supported Fable uh, Beard Company since day one and the newers, the newcomers that signed up exclusively on the Fable Vault's website. Yes. And uh, Ginger Gamer says, do we need to be subscribed to all of you or just Mr. Dancy Beard? So I'm all about honesty here. I'm a teacher. For anybody that doesn't know, I'm a middle school history teacher. And I never try to tell my students scare tactics. I never try to give them like false accusations. Like if you don't do, and do this, you're going to run 30 miles. I try not to do that. So to be completely honest and transparent, to enter the giveaways, you do need to be subscribed to my channel. That's true, because when your name shows up, you have to comment to claim you're winning. And if you don't comment, you don't get it. Now, full disclosure, we can't check on the fly if you subscribe to their channels. But I would highly appreciate it if you did. Listen to this. It costs you absolutely nothing. It is literally free for you to subscribe to their channels. It takes you less than two seconds to click the description, click the channel, subscribe. Click the other channel, subscribe. It is that easy. Make their night. You can change their lives 
by something that is free in less than two seconds it takes you. So please, if you could, subscribe to those channels. All right. We are going to get into the, the nitty gritty and kind of get it going there. And once, and guys, on this channel, if you don't know, we are live every Monday, every Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern. And anytime we hit the threshold of 300 people in the chat at once, we do a family picture. So make sure everybody's beards are looking nice. If you got your the ladies' head hair looking nice, because we are approaching that 300 mark. And it's going to be family picture time. And if you don't know, of course, we will explain how that works uh, in just a second. So we're going to. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stall Dave for just a bit here. And one of the things you need to do to enter the giveaways is sign up on the Gleam link that is in the description. But I'm also going to put it on uh, in the chat right now. And I'm going to pin it. I'm going to replace it as the pinned message. Click that. All it requires is a name and an email. And hey, can we get a round of applause? We got 300 people in the room right now. We call this the fable That's effect. What I'm talking about. Let's go, guys. Let's do this. This has very little to do with uh, any of the gentlemen on screen right now and a lot to do with the wizard and his company. So shout out to Colin for uh, – I said, truly, I reached out to him one day. I said, thank you so much for this opportunity. Like, it doesn't go unnoticed. I genuinely appreciate all of this. Uh, for anybody that doesn't know the the background with Fable and myself personally, and now the number jumped out. So we got to wait for the family picture. But anybody doesn't know the, the relationship with uh, Colin, the owner of Fable, and me, is we actually connected before I had a channel, and it was within the very first beginning stages of his company over three years ago when I was active on Reddit, the sub forum Beards, and I was posting about stuff. He actually sent me a message and was talking in the like kind of like wizardly language and all that stuff and old English, I guess you could say. And it was it was really cool. So I've known I've known Colin and I've known Fable for literally over three years now. All right, picture time, guys. Guys on the screen, let's get everything ready. People at home, make sure you guys look at the camera. If your camera's closed, open it on up and let's get that family picture going. All right, here we go, guys. Let's get a nice cheese. Let's get all those those uh, those pearly whites. Oh, I forgot to count down. We got to count down. What am I doing? Oh. All right, this is rookie. This is this, newbie. This is amateur hour over here. All right, we're gonna do three, two, one, and then cheese, and everybody's gonna give their best their best smile here. I'm sorry, I messed it up. Please, nobody, nobody blink. Nobody look away. Make sure we are good here. Okay, I got the camera ready. Family picture. Three, two, one, cheese. There we go. There we go. Now we're talking. Okay. All right. All right. I was nervous. I was like, I've never had picture time on. No, that. now we're good. Now we're good. And uh, I think I saw I saw Big Duke. Yep, he he definitely he blinked. Justin blinked. We always have these people that just can't get it right for whatever reason. They just cannot get it right. Okay. Um, <laughs> here we go. All right, and yes, there's some people like clarifying all the details of there. I did take your picture. So just so everyone knows, you are on the family picture. It'll be posted on my Instagram if you guys would like to check it out. Dancy Bearded. Dave, are you ready? Man, I've been ready. <laughs> All right, Colin. Let's let's get the clearance here. I want to make sure I want to make sure Colin is is officially ready for us to open the vault. The Wizard, Fable Beard Co. Colin, the Swole Nurse, the Ginger Ninja. Are you ready for us to announce what is going on? Oh, oh, he's hey, hopping on. Hey, okay. I got an email. I got an email that says gain early access to the vault right now. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Is he ready? He's. I think he's hopping on video, everybody. We're going to have uh, a wizardly experience going on in just a second here. Now, uh -huh. yep, yep, <laughs> yep. Now, a couple of details. Five stream exclusive giveaways. We're going to give away five. I'm just going to say sets of what is in the vault. That's all I'm going to let you know. Five sets of what is in the vault. And then... We also are going to have five mega box giveaways. Let me get the details here. So, five mega box giveaways that are worth $500 of product for what? purchases. Yep. So oh my five, God. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put it in the chat right now. So five people randomly that order during the stream are going to win a mega box of $500 worth of products. Now, I'm not good at math. That's like twenty five hundred dollars worth of products right there. No side note. That's that's, that's twenty five hundred dollars, right? Once Colin does it, Colin <laughs> does that part, right? Like yes, no from Colin. Yeah. 
Exactly. And you will be notified by email when you when you sign up for your purchase. On stream, you're going to know tonight, before we go to bed, before we leave, we're going to have five people that are for free. You don't have to buy anything. No purchase necessary. You're going to win what is in the vault by signing up for the giveaway link that I'm about to put in the chat right now. It is also in the description at any time. And by the way, you do need to be live and present to win that giveaway. If you leave, if you're going to poop and you didn't bring your phone, bring your phone when you poop, people. Come on. You gotta Who we, doesn't use their phone when they poop? I, I know. No rookies here. That's the uh. best phone time is when you're pooping. And so you got to claim it. It has to be within about a minute as we go through. And from there, you again, you got to be subscribed to comment. So make sure you guys do that. And we're going to unlock the vault. Early access. Here are a couple more details. It's going to be open for seven days and then gone forever. You will not get this after seven days, period. End of story. It makes me nervous. Yes. Yes, I'm sweating a little bit. That makes me nervous. All right. Wizard, yeah. give me a thumbs up if you are ready to go. I just had to turn my fan on. <laughs> yeah. It's Dude, I'm telling you. Is my hair okay? I think it got frizzy. Yeah. Yep. It's a good the thing I worked out. It's looks good, too. Yes. Right, and, uh, a great point by Leo. Please make sure you are live. What does that mean? Essentially, uh, the YouTube likes to buffer and mess things up. If you're on your phone, tap the screen. You should see the word live in one of the corners, and there should be a red dot next to it. If there's not, just hit the word live. If you're on your computer, scroll your mouse over the screen. Same process. Make sure, make sure, make sure you make the top chat to live chat, too, so you see everybody's comment. Yes. When you are on YouTube, the top one, it defaults to top chat, which makes no sense. Go ahead and hit live chat. And it is time to bring in the man, the person for whom we are here. I don't even know if that made sense, but we're going with it. This is Colin. This is the swole former nurse. This is the owner, CEO, half of Fable Beard Co. His wife is is the other half and is fantastic. The princess. The princess. Yeah, yeah, she is fantastic. Let's everybody give a warm welcome to the wizard. Hey! This is can... thumb wrestling with myself because there ain't no competition left. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Dang! <laughs> Dang! <laughs> Uh, that, you got awesome. to do the whole on that one. Okay. I, I am not in my traditional setup, so I apologize if the audio is shoddy. We got pink bags hanging on the wall. You're in the wizard's house, you know, mm. so it's a little different. Hey, wait. And the rent's due because I see it on your shirt. It's saying. always due. Talk about mm. trying to be motivated. Yeah, let's. What? Gun show on, on Dan's dream? What? And not in on the. He doesn't have the traditional garb on either. Your boys lost almost 50 pounds. Rent it. Wow. That's awesome. That is awesome. So, Mr. Wizard. Yes, sir. How, exci how excited are you for tonight? This has literally been six months in the making. You know, uh, we're we're getting to a point with, with Fable where we get ideas like rolling in the car or even with my team at the lab. And we're like, hey, maybe we can do this. And the crazy ideas no longer sound crazy anymore. Now they're challenges. And the Fable Vault was definitely one of those things. Um, it came from an idea of, you know, really it started as, let's see how many people we can get to sign up for something exclusive for Fable when they didn't even really know what it is, what it was. Yeah. And uh fast forward you know six months with a little bit of promotion and we got a little over four thousand people sign up for the vault wow and nobody knows what's in it yet <laughs> no i i remember it like i said we you hit us all with that idea six months ago we scheduled this like people think like this stuff just happens we scheduled this stream this date this time six months ago to the point where you even said we're going to have a pre-release stream and it's going to go live the next day mm -hmm. to the point where I scheduled my camping trips around this. We got home yesterday at like eight o'clock last night. Like this isn't something that was just thrown together. This has been worked on, polished. And I, oh, the way it's come out is so cool. And I'm so excited. And, and we can't say what yet, but nothing has been been done ever like this that I've ever seen. 
No, uh, definitely not. I mean, I, uh, I, I think the concept of the way that we marketed the vault has been done uh, by other companies. I'm sure right. I got the idea at some point. So, oh my gosh, got to turn that down. Hold on, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> it has been done at some point. Uh, but uh, I don't think what the vault actually is has ever been done in the beard care industry, period. Agreed. Um, from from even the concept of the vault to what's inside the vault, I think both are kind of brand new. I agree. It it really is. Uh, one of them doesn't even seem legal, but it's so amazing. People are going to freak out. <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> and, and we get to show it tonight on stream. And uh, first off, I want to say thank you to everybody on screen that's here tonight. Everybody in the chat, I think we have a shot to have the biggest, and I, I mean this, I'm not even going on ledge, the biggest live stream in beard community history. You know, and the, and the crazy part is, is I don't, I believe I scheduled the pre-live just to be fair to the Fable customers for the people who only signed up for the vault. So okay. it's not like the email went out to like, uh, like our normal 50,000, it only went out to the four. So the fact oh. that we're getting these high numbers like that is still pretty crazy too. That's fantastic. Yeah. I, I'm going to, I think we already are at the biggest live stream and beard community history. I cannot think of any. I mean, I've been on, we actually, all of us, uh, Mo and Dave too, been on the, the big scuba ones, the my other big fable ones. And and this is pretty cool. Pretty cool to see. So Absolutely. I'm, uh, what's that? How many people are in here right now? We have 380 humans on right now. Wow. That's a let's go. Man. Let's get the 400 people. Let's share this. Let's go. Yeah. We're, we're going to take a family picture with our shirts off if we get to 400. I'm about to take my shirt off right now. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mr. Colin, do you think it is time for Dave to tell the people what is in the vault? And then we'll get into all the details of, of how, how they get in, how they – all the all the nitty gritty. Yeah, I'm a little nervous, but go ahead. I know. All right, Dave, are you ready for this <laughs> well, moment? So I'm, right. I didn't even tell him, and I'm passing him the rock. Yeah, he didn't. I didn't even know. Oh, don't screw it up. Hopefully, better how, how than CP3 last night. How do, you, how do you screw this up? I didn't sleep last night at all. I was up this morning at one o'clock to go to the gym. All right, evidence. Oh. All right, guys. So I'm gonna kind of show you guys a couple things like that I thought was unique when I opened the package. Uh, so you obviously get it in the same uh, package, obviously the box. Uh, there's going to be a special oh, sort of like oh, tape. Oh, 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 hold on. I'm going to get in trouble because 95% of all of this was the princess's idea. Oh. Let's throw that out there first. Go. Princess. She's the best. All right. She's the and best. we all know that's true. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so when you open it, what is that? Like all of a sudden you see this gold, like what? So like when you open it up, you you open it and bam! All of a sudden you have. I show the product, right? Is that what pause. You're pause. 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 We have four hundred people in here right now. Ooh. Ooh. All right, picture time for the biggest stream in beard community history. Right, everybody oh, looking at the camera, guys. flex on them, flex on them. All right, here we go. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Sorry. That's pretty crazy, guys. That, that gave me goosebumps. See that hair sticking up? That's goosebumps. I need a you. My right, shirt's off, Rich. We said it. I don't think I want to see that. I was down. I was down. <laughs> all right. So now that we've got such an amazing amount of people in here, too, no pressure, Dave. No pressure. All right. So, right. Right. The first thing that you pull out is you're going to see. The banker. Mm. Boom. Look at that Ooh. artwork. Look at that bottle. Oh my gosh. What? That is sick. So beautiful. So then you go in here and you get your little your mail piece, right? And and I just I just now you get yourself one of these. Do you see that? How it's gold and not red? Oh, mm -hmm. see that? I purposely ripped the envelope around it so I could keep it because I don't have a gold one. So I wanted to keep that. That's, and you that's know, you would be surprised at how many Fable Adventurers collect those stamps to get a gold one. There's going to be bragging rights involved. Yep. 
So then the next thing is obviously that co-wash. Oh, what? Yeah. And this co-wash is so good. So good. One and the then best. I'm going to do this a certain special way for Colin. We're going to we're going to do it big. We're going to do it right. We're going to open this up, right? So then I'm going to show you guys this amazing card that comes with it. Mm, look at that. Banker yes. with a whole bunch of cash money around him. Look at that guy. So then right when you think, oh, my gosh, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Like, seriously, I was like a little kid. I'm like, this is so awesome. And then you read the back and it says, dear adventurer, the moment you have been waiting for is here. In this box, there are riches untold. How much will you win? Dip your butter to find out until the next adventure, my liege, the wizard. Wait, how much you will win? Okay. I'm going to let you finish that. <laughs> so we have the vault. We're going to go over the scent profile. We're going to go over the price. We're going to go over the early access code. The vault doesn't open until tomorrow unless you're in the stream right now. Mm -hmm. And then it goes away forever in seven days until the next vault starts. Inside your butter, when you purchase the banker, and we're going to give the price. We're going to go over everything. And yes, great, great call, Mike. Everything is green. This is the first time I believe Fable has released anything in the green bottles and green no, containers. Yeah, it's never, it's definitely exclusive to the banker. For and sure. when I first got it, I messaged Colin. I said, such a nice touch. And he said, I wanted to go classy. I wanted to go nice. And it really is the banker. If you guys notice, I do have a green shirt on. I got that the money green. I had oh, to bring it. Money. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> and so when you order this, we have not opened it. I actually have the banker oil and beard. I didn't know if I was supposed to, but I wanted to be able to talk about it and how it smells in beard. But I did not open, and none of us have opened the butter. And no. the, re the reason why, go ahead, Cal. Full disclosure, the wizard did not hand make this batch. My team hand made this batch. So I don't even know what's about to take place. When you <laughs> this open. So when you purchase the banker combo, which is in the vault, and we're going to give away five of these combos tonight, by the way. You have to be here to claim it. We're going to, And the combo is an oil, a butter, and a co-wash. Inside of your butter is actual U.S. currency. It's, it's packaged, don't worry. But inside of it is actual currency of a $10, $20, $50, or $100 bill. Ooh, mind blown. A $100 bill. And ours is random. These were just selected. I'm assuming that they have a bunch already made and, and they're picked out there. Dave thinks he's going to get the most in there. But inside of here, the minimum that you can get is a $10 American real currency bill that's inside of here. But it goes up to $100 for a total of $30,000. Not discounts, not gift cards, not sales. Cash, exactly, JP. Show me the money. Mm -hmm. So we're going to open ours in a second here, but let me go over a couple of details. And, and Colin, are we we good to show the site and get everything rolling, get these people? Yeah, absolutely. So right now on the site, you'll see a sign-up screen. And just to kind of give a little breakdown, uh, we've decided that the vault is going to be saved and kind of run like this for the foreseeable future. Uh, the plan right now is uh, once every six months to open the vault for a special exclusive similar to what's happening tonight. So Other than that, we may use the vault from time to time to open up something else, maybe a past subscription character that people have been pining for that hasn't been made anymore from like a year ago. Something of that nature that we find in our Facebook group that people are just asking and asking and asking for that we may not have the products left to make, but we might go ahead and buy them to make them again for the vault. Mm -hmm. Now, the only way, like I said, to enter the vault is to uh, sign up on the website, thefablevault.com. Then all of a sudden you may get an email one day on a Tuesday. Hey, the vault's going to be open for four hours or three days or one day or seven days. And good luck. See what's in there. The yes. only way you're going to get that email is if you have signed up on the page. Or alternatively, if you're a member of the uh, monthly subscription that we already currently have, 
you're automatically going to be put into that list anyways for fairness because you know that's kind of the whole exclusivity from the monthly subscription but uh right now you'll see a little a little lock symbol in the top right hand corner when you click that button it's going to ask you for a password to get in and we're going to hit that here and we will give everybody a chance to say their very favorite uh, subscription sent in a little bit. I have a feeling I know what everybody's favorite is for the majority, but we'll see. We'll see what, what they say here. Once you enter the site, we're going to hold off on the password for just a second here. This is what it looks like. The vault is open for seven days. Mm -hmm. There is no discount code. There's no affiliate, nothing like that. It is $100 for an oil, a one ounce oil, a four ounce butter, and is it a, uh, how much it's is the eight, eight ounce conditioner, mm -hmm. co-wash here, $100, but literally the minimum you're going to have in here is $10, a 20, a 50, or a 100, meaning you could be getting your exact money back when you purchase this uh, as you go through. The banker is ready here. Now, here's the website. We'll scroll down a little bit more as you go through. Look at that picture there. That is so cool. It is actually in the butter. You know, that is so amazing. And as it goes down, you have all this amazing information on here and, and what everything that they have. I'm ready to tell the SEM profile and give you the, the early access code. Scrolling down at the bottom, your early access code is money money so go ahead and hop on there and let's go ahead and break down the scent profile i'm going to put it as a, a banner in just a little bit here i want to let everybody see money as it goes through but here's our scent profile and i'll go a little bit more on the zoomage oh, too much too much there our scent profile for the banker is crisp hundreds aged wood barreled bourbon sophisticated musk in fresh cologne now mo what is your description what do you think what, how would you tell the people about this scent if you're going to describe it bro straight up when i smell this and i got it in beard right now it just makes me feel rich it makes me feel luxurious so when i put this in beard i text colin and i was like dude i literally feel like i'm walking around with a million bucks in my hand when it's just <laughs> really a, a scent uh, just the beard oil in, in, in on my beard. It's just really, really nice and unique. It's not too strong. It's really, it lasts all day, but it makes it's it's a luxury scent. Um, you definitely get that that like the the bourbon in there and the musk, but everything just well rounded and it just honestly, um, the whole package, the combo is definitely worth a hundred bucks with this. Yeah, and and not to even gloss over it this is especially for the the faithful the fable faithful the people that love this the people that want that collector's item that want that green bottle the artwork on top of having a fantastic product so we want to make sure we're clear on that too this is a collector's item that will literally be available for a week and a week only 100 percent. you know as as we're growing we're finding that uh, more people who really tie on to Fable as a brand and the whole experience and the characters, they really want something special. So we launched the loyalty program. You reach certain points, you get free, uh, you know, limited edition beard oils that only get a, become available once you hit those type of loyalty points type of thing. We also launched the, the vault. This is really for those people who truly want to have something exclusive for Fable. This wasn't meant to like, um, what's the way, uh, uh, drum up a uh, new customer acquisition. This is definitely for our diehard Fable people. Exactly. A absolutely. Exactly there. Dave, how would you be able to describe this scent? I would describe it as like a classy cologne. Like, a, like if you're, you're like a sophisticated person, like, you know what I mean? It just makes you feel good. It's a, it's definitely one a scent that you can't explain. I mean, the profile itself doesn't even explain how good it smells. Like it's the way it all kind of came together. The wizard definitely worked his sorcery again on this. I don't know how the heck you do it all the time, Colin. Well, you know, um, we we've we've what's the right word? We've evolved in our abilities to have different areas of scent manufacturing. So, you know, we have uh, different fragrance suppliers that we work with. We have dedicated fragrance teams that works on another end. 
And I have my team in the lab that helps me go through stuff. It's no longer just me giving input anymore. Uh, but when I smelled this blend for the first time and I was like, well, you know, kind of what is the baker going to smell like? Well, obviously class and sophistication was immediately like the first to go to, but I cracked it open and everyone on earth knows that money has a really distinct smell to it. You're, you're taking my line, Colin. <laughs> <laughs> and I opened that bottle and I was like, this smells like hundred dollar bills. It's absolutely insane. Um, and that's what the, I was most excited about. Yeah. So for me, I definitely get the cologne. I definitely get the sophisticated, but it smells like money. It smells like a wad of bills. Like it really does have that smell to it. It's almost like a dryness. There, it would be the best way I could describe it. It smells like this dry scent, this money scent, this kind of cologne, sophisticated. It really does smell like you have money. Man, it is fantastic. Mm -hmm. And a couple of things to hit on. There's a few people in the chat asking where where to be able to get this. The code is money. I, I put a link. It's the fablevault.com. And then the top right-hand corner, uh, what is the sim? Is it a key, Colin? Four. Uh, when they have to click on the top right, because I can't see it anymore, to get into the site? Yeah, the, the top right-hand corner is a is a little lock symbol. A lock, okay. So there's a little lock symbol on the top right-hand corner, and then you click that lock symbol, and you just put in the password money, and then you are in. This <laughs> will go officially live tomorrow for everybody, but once you go into that lock symbol, and keep in mind, every single butter you order has a 10, 20, 50, or $100 bill inside. And we are going to go through and uh, and actually open up ours and see what we have tonight. Which is really I want to see this. I know. I know. I'm, I'm excited. excited. I got everything well, ready. To go. It might get a little dirty. It might get a little greasy. It might get a little, I have to rub my wife's back after, but we're going to see what's going to happen. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. And, and guys, I am, if you keep a lookout for my name, I am putting different messages and links in the chat. The next one I'm putting in here is the Banker Box will be shipping starting on July 26th. So this will be starting to ship. Please do not message Fable. Please do not message Colin tomorrow and say, where's my shipping information? Yeah, yeah. We, we got to have time to get all the packages together. And we wanted to kind of see how this was going to go, you know, from a business standpoint. So we didn't want to pre-make with all this money inside of these butters, right? Uh, too much and then just have it sit around and then we're just wasting product and money and everything else. So, um, but uh, what was I going to say? There's some comments I'm seeing about the lock not working. Uh, you can try it in all caps. I've always, uh, maybe it's a capital M. I just put money in there. Uh, it's probably a capital M. Maybe that's the reason. It's, that uh, no capitals. I just tried it. Okay. Okay. It's, no cap. See, it worked yeah, for me all no caps, cap. but okay. So <laughs> money. And I'll, I'll change it here to, to no caps on that one. No and cap. then I also just put a message in the chat. We will be doing, we'll get this started pretty soon here. We're going to be doing five stream exclusive giveaways where we are giving away five combos where somebody's not only just going to win these amazing Fable collector items, these amazing Fable products, but they're also going to win actual money just like anybody else that was buying. And on top of that, if you order tonight and tonight only, and keep in mind, myself, Mo, Dave, none of us actually get a commission. This is not a sales tactic. This is just us being passionate about this company. We literally get no commission for this. But if you order tonight, five people are going to get a mega Fable Box random giveaway that is worth $500 each. That's $2,500 dollars worth of giveaways for those that purchase on top of the already $500 plus giveaways that are the exclusive on the stream. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I mean, come on. Yeah, it, it, is, it is beyond cool. And uh, so, yeah, we have the money down there and I will put the, let me go ahead and put in the scent profile down at the bottom. And that is again, Dave, will you read that scent profile for us one more time? Yes. Yes, I will. The scent profile is money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm grabbing this bad boy. It is crisp hundreds, aged woods, barrel bourbon, sophisticated musk, and fresh cologne. Awesome. And Colin, these are the same ingredients for your normal 
uh, your normal oil, butter, and co-wash, correct? Yeah, this is a it's a standard product, um, just the exclusive scent bottling packaging. Um, there's also going to be a little bit more to the packaging as far as inserts and things coming that I didn't get in time to send to you guys. So what they're getting is actually going to be a little bit more than what's inside your boxes. Okay. Um, it's all banker related stuff. Um, and there's going to be some stuff on the outside of the packaging too. That's going to be kind of cool. Okay. And, uh, and people that are, are having issues, this, this happens no matter what you do. A uh, couple of things, make sure you refresh the stream. Make sure you clear your cash and cookies. I know we don't like to cash out cookies, but, and it is money, all lowercase, all lowercase on money. Um, if it's not working, just keep trying. We've had the majority of people, the orders are rolling in. Um, and, and make sure again, click that link, click the lock, and then put lowercase money. Um, again, I just checked on my phone too, and it's working. Yeah, delete browser history. That's just a a good kind of uh, habit in general. <laughs> if, you know, all right, we got we got to keep, keep, keep clean there. And let's go ahead before we get dramatic and announce our announce our uh, what we have in here. How about we go ahead and get into our first dream exclusive giveaway? What do you think? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do it, guys. Let's get the the crowd going. You do need to be live. You do need to remain here to be able to win that giveaway. And if you do not know how to enter, I know this is going to happen. People want they're like, how do I enter? It is in the chat right now. But in case of this, at any point, make sure you check in the description. Uh, Colin Maximus has a good question. Does this count towards Fable Rewards? So normally I would say no. However, since there's going to be such a limited uh, number of orders, or let me rephrase that. Uh, rephrase mm -hmm. that. There's going to be a number of orders for this that we can actually uh, manage to manually adjust things for. Um, they're all three separate actual websites. So our loyalty program is basically an app in the background of our standard website store. So that's why, plus there's CBD regulations, which is why they can't like coexist together, right. can't give you rewards here, and then let you buy with them here, so on and so forth. Um, so, uh, yes, we could probably do that. Um, I don't think it'll happen automatically. It'll probably just be at a request of, Hey, I'd like to receive this for this as well. And then we can credit points for that. Awesome. So the giveaway that we are doing now is going to be for an oil, a butter, a co-wash with the money inside of the butter here. All you had to do is sign up for free on this gleam. And once I show it, and yes, uh, there are no discount codes. There's no affiliates, anything. This is just an exclusive through that that early vault system. And, and a lot of people are commenting on the creativity. Keep those comments coming, man. It, it's so cool. So much work that goes into this. But again, the creativity. I got to interject real quick. Yeah. The Fable Vault, and we don't get you to say giveaway time. Oh, right? it's it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> okay, okay, right. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's coming. I just had to make sure we had everybody ready here. Okay. So I'm going to show it on the screen in just a second here. If, oh man, a typo, typo, ignore that. All right. I think I copy and paste it. So it wasn't my typo. Must have been uh, wizard's wires getting crossed. Okay. There we go. There we go. All right. If you happen to win, what is coming up next? You are going to reach out and your name and email are going to be recorded already. So there's no way to kind of con the system here. Uh, but if you win, you're going to reach out to customer service at fablebeardco.com. And what we have now is a question. We have people all around the world. The Fable Nation extends different states, different countries, different continents, different universes, different trans-dimensional universes. What time is it where everybody is located right now? Carrie got his order there. Awesome. Or hers. Never, never assume. All right. But what time is it where you are located? Because there is a correct answer. There is an accurate answer. There is a precise answer. There is an exact answer. And we got the chat blowing up. I see this. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, buddy. Go yeah. Up. It's what it's like on this side. It's wild. There's some wild times over here. All right, everyone. Right now, in a very special, largest stream, and I really, someone proved me wrong, largest stream in beard community history, we have 
giveaway time. <laughs> Let's give it away. I'm going to show it on the screen. If it is you, please type a comment and please hold your congrats until we see this person comment. But please comment, hey, it's me. Thank you, Colin. This is amazing. Something along those lines. And then Dave and Mo, if you can help me like point out if you see, oh, there they are. And then I'll highlight it. If they're not here, then we have to, uh, we got to reroll. We got to make sure we have somebody new. Okay. All right. Dude. So our first, we have five of these. Please stay along, guys. We don't have any bedtimes. We, we don't have school in the morning. So we can stay up as late as we want. Mom doesn't even care. All right. Our first winner is Justin Gilland, as long as he is here. Justin Gilland, first off, thank you for being here. Secondly, if you comment and it's not working, oop, it's because you're not subscribed. You got to be subscribed. And please, subscribe to all these gentlemen's channels. Fable, Bearded Motivation. Hey, he is here. Everybody, throw a congrats in the chat for Gillen 22 He has won. We got four more. Don't worry. We have four more. It is going down. Justin. You see the email to, to contact down at the bottom? Please reach out. They are going to need your government name, if that is not your real name, but they still need that anyway, and your shipping address. And I'm going to put on this document. I got a, a fancy, snazzy document I shared with the wizard that has the name and email address so he can verify, or the team can verify. But that's our first giveaway. And now it's time for Mo to get dirty. It is uh, it is Shark Week, everybody. This is uh, <laughs> ba, 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 ba. Um, <laughs> this is his first exclusive content on his Fins Only channel. Here we go. Boots, 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 boots. All right, Mo, dig in, baby. I'm calling a twenty dollar bill here. I'm saying it's a twenty booski. I think I think mine's gonna be a ten dollar. Oh, all right, I'm nervous. I'm nervous for this. What we're about to do be this. nervous. I hope my audio is a little better. I apologize. Oh, I've been okay. excited fine the whole time. I feel it. Hold on, let, let's see. Show the camera. Yeah, yeah. What's it look like in there? Come on, get well, get the oh. money shot. <laughs> you see it right there? You had to get deep. I did. Is it twenty? Was that right? I don't know. We're about to find out. All right, in the comments, what do y'all think it is? Come on, let's do this. Yeah, put in a comment here. Uh, yes, they do ship internationally. Uh, uh, so uh, I think uh, the traditional way for this is people are going to use the product, and as they get down to it, they're like, "Hey, I get some money." I mean, no you chance. can dig around in it, but you know, no, oh, you no chance. chance. <laughs> they're digging right in, Colin. Oh yeah, for sure. I was right. No! <laughs> <laughs> Buy yourself some peed away. There you go. Some peed away. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, I love it. I love it. All right, Dave, for those people that may have never tried this, right, it's rare, but how would you describe, right, we know the the premier product for any beardsman is beard oil. How would you describe the viscosity, the, the qualities of Fable beard oil? So uh -huh. I would say it's one of the best that I use, right? Obviously, we've been rocking for a long time uh, for a reason. Oh, cool. Um, but with the coconut oil, jojoba oil, it is, I would say, like a medium oil is what I would say. Um, almost light, too. Like, I mean, it, it's not super thick, but it's just thick enough. When you put it in your hand, she just kind of runs right down. Oh, yeah. See that? But, man, does this smell so good. good. And the beard feels amazing when you put it in the beard. Mm. So. See, you know, uh, there. Uh, I'm gonna drop a little, a little business knowledge on the people that might be in the chat that are watching this that this might pertain to. Um, you know, I, I see a lot of companies uh, make a lot of transitions here and there, changing their ingredients, changing their formulas, changing their ratios, trying to get the uh, uh, perfect blend, so to speak. That's fine. You can roll like that. But Fables Blend has been Fables Blend from the very beginning. This was the first blend I created. It never changed. And I always followed the customers and what they said about the product, not everyone else. So with that in mind, 
if you're going to make decisions on your business, make sure it's because the customers are saying it one way or the other, please. I agree. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's so important there because there, there's going to be ups and downs. There's going to be stuff that happens. There's going to be some, some, some plot twists that, that go along the way. I can say that I am very, very proud that I've stuck with Fable as a, as a fan of the company as an admirer of the products, as a supporter, as a content creator, since the very beginning at through the ups, through the downs, that has never changed. And, and yeah, I agree. I would say that it is a a medium thick oil. I, I would say it's a little bit more than the, the medium. And it does a, a fantastic job. The scents are unbelievable to the point where Colin Borderline has like, copyrighted scents like there's this whole process that happens where they're exclude this scent that you're smelling here cannot legally be duplicated this is a fable scent. technically they're trademarked but. trademark there we go <laughs> there we go so that is true this is not somebody that is buying a pre-made oil and putting it in mm. there this mm. is literally a process and it is trademarked now mo you started to describe the butter real quick what is the butter like to you uh in beard in feel for people that have never experienced Fable butter. Well, this butter, you guys can see, it's I left it on my hand on purpose. It's going to melt. It's going to be one of those butters that you can use on daytime or nighttime. doesn't really matter. If you're looking for a tad bit of a hold, then it's going to do a good job on holding your beard in place during the day. Then yep. also, if you're looking for like a deep conditioning overnight beard butter, this is going to do that too. So it's an all-day beard butter, and it's creamy. And you guys can see, y'all saw me move around in the butter and it's not hard. You don't have to use a, a, a thumb, a, a, a pick or your thumb. It just creamy. It comes right out and it melts almost instantly. Absolutely. And it's, it's one of the only butters that is, and it, it may be the only one that I can think of that is only butter. This is oh, not with, with the oils in here. It is actual beard butter in and Mr. Wizard, who do we have here? Hey, buddy. This is the, the one of the whole reasons Fable was started. Uh, this is the little wizard in training here. Hopefully this will be able to go to him one day. But, um, you know, I wanted to be able to create something where I could show my, my children that uh, you can truly do whatever you want to in life, even if that's trying to sell something dressed as a wizard. So. Uh, he wanted to hop on stream. I got a text message from the princess that he wanted to say hello. So, hey, buddy, that's awesome. Hey, so I couldn't, couldn't you chocolate more. all over your face. What are you eating? A bunch of chocolate? You're living the life, aren't you? Yeah, <laughs> living that life up, kiddo. You know, those comments on here. He's actually starting a YouTube channel here too for some other stuff. So, I right, plug what? it. Do we have a name he, yet? He's definitely interested in it. What's the name of it? The name is uh, Braden's. Uh, Wait, you, you're going to have to ease up on the chocolate if you're going to speak. <laughs> <laughs> Braden's Playhouse, that was it. Okay. All right. Okay. Watch out, Ryan. Braden's coming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's it. Watch yeah. out. All right. All right. See you, little whiz. All right. So the question here. Is it true they're wash and stripping? Well, in this bundle, you are actually getting the co-wash, which is mm -hmm. more of a conditioner. It can be used by itself or it can be used following a wash. Either way is fine. There are no stripping properties to, to this. This is uh, very nourishing, detangling, softening. Um, then the wash for me is um, it's not a full out stripping wash. It's not something that's just going to tear down your beard. Uh, for me, it, it's going to do great clarifying, great cleansing and really get the beard clean. Um, it's not a, a full out daily wash. I wouldn't use it on a daily basis, but it's good for three, four times a week, especially if you're following with some conditioner there. Um, so I would say that when I, when I list stripping washes, it's not one of them, uh, but it's 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 going to really clarify. It's really going to get the job done because people, I mean, I've made a video on this. You need to clean your beard. You need to get those pores cleaned out. If you're like the wizard, if you're like Dave and you're sweating, you're getting that sodium buildup in your pores, you need to clean those out. If anybody says beard wash is not necessary, they're crazy. You need to wash your beard, right? That's a part, right? You wash your hair, you wash your armpits, you wash your booty. Why would you not wash your beard? So it definitely does what it's supposed to. One with a clean house expects guests. 
Mm, oh, yeah, hey, 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 okay. Take, now, now, take it uh, anywhere you want, people. Uh, just, a, just a little side note, uh, as, as a full transparency here, it is in the privacy policies and the return policies regarding to the Fable Vault, but since we're educating people on how our products work, I'm going to assume a lot of people in chat have never actually used Fable products. So if you're going to purchase this uh, kit, please please do. That's why we gave the code out. It's an exclusive uh, pre-party stream thing for, for Dan subscribers. But cl please keep in mind, with the banker specifically, there are no returns and there are no exchanges. And the reason for that is there's actual cash inside these products. If we were to send out 100 kits and 30 people came back and said, hey, I don't really like this, I want a refund. Well, we can't exactly get the cash back that was sent to them in addition. So at that point, we're just giving people money to give them money. So with that said, this is the only Fable product that there are no returns for. Yeah, just and, keep that, and that, in mind. that makes total sense, right? Somebody gets 100 and then they return like, I got a 10. Right, right. <laughs> They send yeah. it back. So yes. All right. <laughs> let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and do our next giveaway. And then we still have to dig into the suspense filled my butter and Dave's butter here. So if you have not yet, all you got to do is sign up with the Gleam. I'm going to put it in the chat right now. It is free. Cost you nothing. You just need to be subscribed and be able to, to comment to claim your victory. And this is for the combo, the oil, the butter, and the conditioner. Ooh, ooh. Pressure. And we will have a chance to talk about all things uh, Fable tonight as well. So if we have some new oh stuff gosh, that came out. so much coming. With, with, with these two gentlemen right here. And then if we have anything from, from the Wiz as well. All right. If this is you, please claim your victory. And everybody else, please wait to congratulate them until they claim it. Benjamin G, are you in the building Otherwise, we do have to re-roll. And yes, Chris, thank you for pointing that out. If you guys don't mind, this stream is going to stay up. This is going to help Fable. This is going to help my channel. It's going to help the beautiful gentleman on, on camera right now. Uh, the way that you can do your part is by simply hitting a thumbs up, and it's going to be able to, <clears throat> to boost this video. Ben is here. Everybody, throw a congrats in the chat for Ben. He thank has won the top here. Mm, mm, mm. Raise the roof. R r r raise the roof. Congratulations, Ben. That is awesome, man. Um, oh, yeah, I got to put it down at the bottom. Okay, yes. Please reach out to the email that is scrolling down at the bottom with your government name and your shipping address. That's all they need tonight. We don't need any uh, negative COVID tests. We don't need your shoe size. We don't need the mascot of your middle school, your mother's maiden name. None of that. We're keeping it simple tonight. None of that at all. Okay. All right. Now, a little side note. I've seen a few comments here scroll through past the night on on my appearance and my beard has seemed to be making some positive gains here since the last time I was on stream. And I will yeah. tell you guys, of course, use products, right? Products by all means. But, boys, get your hormone levels checked, okay? Mm -hmm. All I'm going to say. Yeah, there was a fascinating uh, podcast on Joe Rogan. Let me find uh, the guy's name. If you have not watched this one or listened to this one, his name is Andrew Huberman, and he is a professor and a research doctor from Stanford, and it's all about hormones. It's all about testosterone level. It's all about things that are very important. He literally talks, I'm going to clip it and probably put it on Instagram. He literally talks about DHT related to beard growth on the Joe Rogan stream, stuff we've been talking about for years is now on the largest podcast. And if, 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 if you notice, um, on uh, uh, we started putting this because we felt it was important too. The Wizards Promise, as part of our um, whole thing, it's on every product page, we are free from DHT inhibiting ingredients. We mm -hmm. don't put that stuff in there. Our fragrances, we make specifically certain that they don't contain X, Y, and Z, so they don't get involved with that. <laughs> Scott, that's that's awesome. Scott. Scott proved it. His testosterone raved, raised with the Cuban. Women can't keep a, keep off him, right? It just, it just makes That's sense. Hilarious. And if you are just coming in, everybody, this is live right now. All you need to do is scrolling down on the bottom are, are the rules. You go to the, the fablevault.com. Money is your password. I'm going to put it in the chat. And then you go ahead, and this is not even opened up. This is a stream exclusive, a stream mm -hmm. exclusive. And again, five people that order tonight are going to get a mega Fable Box giveaway of 
$500 worth of product. All five people. Yep, all, all five people right there. All right, anything like the age cash? No. So, James, I, I'll just come on and say that. we're. We, if you are thinking in your brain, right, old money from Beard Brand, this does not smell like old money from Beard Brand at all. Old money, um, I don't think smells like money in any way. No. I, I would cool. agree. Yeah, you get that pepper. You get it, it was my first product from Beard Brand. You get the pepper. Um, you get that oak in in old money. This actually fantastic like, scent, though. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's it's fantastic. I wouldn't. I said in my video I wouldn't buy it, but I asked for it as a gift, which was awesome, and I loved it as a gift. This smells like money with a back end of a cologne to me. Mm -hmm. That, that's that's what I get there. So yeah, great question and, and have no problem answering that. So it, it's been so good. Okay, question for the chat. The subscription Ooh. service is so cool. What is and we're gonna I'm gonna break down a couple questions for you. First off, what is your favorite art from the subscription service? Because we know a massive part of Fable is that collector. It is that art. He has an artist whose job is to work for Fable and create art. You know, uh, Jeff is an absolutely yes. amazing, talented mm. human. And um, it, it was definitely uh, by the powers that are greater than myself that the wizard was able to sit there and search for comic book artist on Google, send one person an email, and Jeff said, let's do it. Uh, it was just kind of meant to be. And yeah. um, he's grown with us. He's going to, he's actually moving closer to Florida here, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, shortly, or he hopes to, uh, which means one hour flights so we can schedule those for him to come down to the lab. Um, it's amazing we've been able to create what we have, and I've never actually met the man in person, uh, but we oh, do wow. a, lot, a lot of FaceTime stuff. And uh, Fable is every bit as much his creation as me, even over here to to my my left on the screen, uh, you know, my face and over and that, what, everything is, you know, I say, hey man, give me a wizard. Hey man, give give me chasing some beard oil on a broomstick over a lake and he just goes with it. And I've always kept it that way for him to have his imagination and creativity because um, if I was to try to micromanage that, there's no way they would come out even near as good as they are. And um, yeah, he's he, he, Jeff is a full time employee for Fable now, and um, uh, he's contracted, guys. So don't you get no idea? <laughs> That's so <cool. laughs> So he is, he's amazing. Uh, we had a live stream where I was able to interview Jeff, which was so cool to kind of pick his brain apart and see how he works. Me personally, remember, I'm asking you guys about the art right now. My favorite one personally from the subscription service is the Pokemon. Mm, now, what the is trainer. the trainer? The trainer, I'm a huge Pokemon fan, and I thought that one was so cool. I, that I one was difficult to do. It was difficult to do because he's like, I want to be a Pokemon trainer. And I'm like, awesome. How do we do that without getting sued? Right, <laughs> right, right. And, and absolutely crushed it. Um, but what about you guys? Mo, what's your favorite art from the subscription service? The trainer. The trainer? Yep, that's my nice. favorite one. They're all cool. great. Think, that one just you know it's got a place in my heart because it was so cool and so unique and there's no other fable art like that one i don't think i think it's real and they're all unique of course dave what is yours i, I have a guess but i want you to <laughs> you have a guess yeah uh, i think i know your answer well it's man i mean there's like i don't know if you see this like there's now i will say dev <laughs> counted uh, in the group chat, because I didn't even have the answer. We have done over 70 cents now in, with the custom characters that haven't been released and the subscription characters and the past stuff we've done in the past. It's I, you, you lose count, but it's crazy. I have a, I have a majority of them right beside me. I just can't for go the good. artwork for the artwork. We're going to, I'm going to show it on camera. What? <laughs> My boy Vinny P. Hey, I knew I was right. The barbarian. <laughs> that was That's a really, really cool in your face yeah. man scent for real. Yeah, this is uh yeah, there's the trainer. My son actually Tommy stole that from me, Dan. He he has that, the butter and the co-wash in his and room. It, that's that's probably the the it says breakfast memories, right? But when we created that, it was like sitting eating a bowl of fruit loops on your couch when you're nine or ten years old after school. Watching Pokemon on the TV was the whole idea behind it, but uh, that Fruit Loop smell, man, 
is so good. It really it's is. It's one of my favorite blends that we had that we had done. No, I I knew it was going to be Vinny P. And that is an awesome art. That's on my top shelf as well. I can't really show you guys, but my top two shelves on my my beard collection are Fable now. So uh, I'm pretty excited about that. We got a question here on when uh, Fable Customs will be coming back. Um, so I do apologize. We had to kind of put a shutdown on the custom uh, character creation option. Um, and what started out as a 250 ended up for time management and everything involved going to 499. We raised the price and we figured, hey, people are going to stop buying it as frequent and it actually caused people to buy more of them. Wow. Um, so we had to just turn it off. Um, we hope to get that finished um, closer to the holiday season, uh, but we have to do some revamping on time frames, timelines, just more structure involved in it because it's a very deep process. It's, you know, talking with me, getting your idea together, or orchestrating it with the artist and getting sketches back and then talking to fragrance companies and, hey, what can we make this smell like? Sending off samples to you guys to smell which one you like. Hey, you know, this is great. Then we have to move on to printing and things that it's a big process. Uh, so we can only do so many at a time, but when it does release, I think we're going to limit it to three active uh, characters at one time. Uh, but we got to get the like 15 wrapped up that we currently have going at the moment. Okay. And then we have a question, All right? Let's segue now. This can be subscription or mainline. Favorite scent, and he's asking me specifically here, so I will answer. Uh, everybody that follows this channel knows my favorite scent from Fable. This has never changed. I am still obsessed with it. I wear it all the time. I've gone through probably three bottles, which is absurd for me with the review schedule. My favorite scent is the grower. That is from the CBD lineup. Oh my goodness gracious. I It's one of Sam's top three scents in the thousands and thousands of beer dolls that I've ever had. The grower, the teacher, which is one of my is one of my collabs, one of my collabs. Yeah, one of my collabs with Fable. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. One of my collabs with Fable. Uh, the teacher, the grower, and then also third is is uh, the wizard. The wizard is unbelievably good, oh, and good. Sam really likes it. We'll just. <laughs> really likes it so those, those are my... is a true date night cologne it is it is it mm. uh it's spunky we'll say we'll say spunky so mo what about what are your favorites or favorite if you just want to answer one yeah, I'll yeah, grab some, yeah. sorry, or some jerky i might be biased over here but i think the lone shark is the best scent at fable it's in the cbd side but now that one is a really good one the lone shark the inventor and then the lover are my three favorite ones if you want the to lover it. wow the lover is amazing and then the grower the grower is playing peekaboo up there too that's a really amazing scent the inventor might be fourth on mine the inventor is fan tat that's the aquatic cologne right <clears throat> the citrus cologne sorry uh, citrus yeah cologne, the citrus, yes. citrus cologne is so the good mm -hmm. so good that's everything i wanted the engineer to be that i couldn't i didn't have the knowledge to create at the time oh so good. Dave, what about you? Top three? Uh, we all know that I am a huge freak of uh, the Scribe. Obviously, that is one of my top scents. Always has been. Every Sunday, I mix it up. Now, now I mix it up with the, uh, oh my gosh, I'm having a brain fart. The roaster, the roaster. Right? So I mix them together. Um, and then also the baker. The baker is definitely one of them as well. Okay. I see. Definitely. Okay. But it is okay. really, really good. Really, and good. if you guys don't know, both of these guys over here have just recently released their CBD collabs. We have the Lone Shark, and then we have Dave. It is the uh, the Master Barber, and those are both their CBD lineups that just recently launched. Mm -hmm. And so, again, guys, we have three different websites. We have the Vault by Fable, which is the banker. We have the CBD line from Fable, and we have the normal lineup from Fable. Uh, if you guys are, are looking to grab anything. Okay. Yeah, there's just so much more coming. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Well, we went all a little over the top, but I'll tell you what. We uh, we just got in a, a fresh, uh, large 55-gallon batch of the, of the Harvester fragrance in uh, to come back for the fall this year. And I put it back in beard today, and I just wanted it everywhere. It, like, mm -hmm. came back. I, I love that. I love 
I yeah. love coming back to him. And first and foremost, I love the fall. Mm. And that does kind of just bring me to the fall. It brings me yeah. to the colors, the apple orchards, the just the the life in the in the Midwest fall. I, I truly love it. So it, it's so cool. So cool. So let's go ahead and let's do another giveaway here. Again, guys, we have five stream exclusive giveaways and five purchases tonight giveaways. And then Dave, after this giveaway, will open up his butter and we'll see what he has. I called Moe's and I'm I'm telling you, I'm going to call Dave's as well uh, as we go through. So Full I did- disclosure, I have no idea what's in, <laughs> in these. I really don't. I, I said, hey, Sue, I need these butters made. They got to go out today. Make it happen. Seal them up. Get it done. They're, they're great at everything. Um, I'm, I'm very fortunate to have an amazing team uh, to where the, the, the wizard can can spend time doing some other things and not have to worry so much about uh, the ins and outs. It's, it's pretty amazing. That's so cool. And, and how many people do you have on your team currently? Uh, technically, now we have seven people that are employed for us. Wow. wow, that is awesome. And uh, awesome. Four of them are in the lab uh, full time. Okay. Um, uh, then obviously we have remote for for Jeff and Dev the Devastator. Dev's probably in here. He runs our affiliate team on Twitch, uh, which we're almost up to three hundred Twitch streamers now. Our goal is a thousand. Um, three hundred okay. Fable sponsored streamers. Yep. Three hundred. Three hundred. Yep. Uh, our goal was our goal is a thousand. So we'll once we get that, I'll I'll feel I'll feel one and right with the land. Uh, but you know, Sue Sue, man, you guys are going to see a character here. But she just does so much. Um, a crazy side story. I I was running Fable out of our garage when we moved to Nashville, and she was my mail carrier. And she was so nice, and she would scan packages when we were gone, let us leave our clicker someplace so she could get it and scan packages for us to make sure they'd go out when we were doing errands. And I asked her one day, I said, hey, do you know anybody who needs a job? We need someone to help. She was working uh, uh, six days a week with a one-and-a-half-hour drive one way just to work this mail route that wow. where we live. And she said – I'll take the job. I'll come in on my day off, which was a weekend, mind you, and work a full day. But not only that, I want to come in for a few hours, two hours before my shift starts here and work for you. And I was like, okay, well, now we, she is full-time employee, works for us. She manages all the shops. She's out of the post, uh, post truck. And, you know, um, she's even in process of, <clears throat> uh, app development uh, she's a very talented lady um, and we're not talking hey here's a way to get more notifications to buy stuff we're talking scanning labels and watching character stories and we're talking uh, candy crush with fable at some point uh, what? style stuff going down so she's she's got some really cool things in the works too but i just wanted to give her a shout out she's absolutely amazing we we call that value added mm-hmm. 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 all right let's go ahead and see who our next giveaway winner is this is gonna be our third giveaway winner on the stream no purchase necessary just got to be subscribed just got to be here oh. live oh. and you are winning the banker combo with Woo! Some money in the butter here sent to you for free, unopened, unsmelled, untampered with, just just ready to roll. So if you see your name on the screen, please comment that you are here, and let's wait to congratulate until they are uh, completely claimed. So our next one is Dakota Sheehan? Sheehan? Sheehan. (laughs) <laughs> I teach middle school. I, I, got, I got that down. Uh, Dakota S. I'm on are you here? Too much. And yeah, there is a little echo. I don't know if anybody has their volume up or turned up here or anything changed. He's here. Dakota, congratulations. Thank you so much. And it, it sounds a little bit better there. But yeah, if anybody has just turned turn the volume down a bit. Uh, Dakota, congratulations. I'm going to put the email down at the bottom. You're going to reach out to customer service at fablebeardco.com. And we still have two more giveaway winners. So just simply be patient. You'll have a shot at winning one of these combos. 
for free. And again, even if you ordered one, there's money in there. <laughs> the mega box giveaway. We we've, we've kind of made that like a norm, and people are like, oh, they're doing it in the giveaway. What, let me explain the value of the mega box here. <laughs> the mega box is completely random. If you play, well, we're doing five tonight. We normally do five, probably about once a month, and that's our way of actually getting rid of overstock products, so we don't just have to throw them away. We'll do s exclusive releases, monthly characters, things of that nature, and we 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 make more than are are sold at some point, and you know you can't reuse some of this stuff. So they all go in this giant bin, and I have uh, if you ever seen those giant mail carts that they come to pick up freight mail for our, for they're like seven. We have a whole thing just like filled with products, and I say five hundred dollars just to put a number on it. But it's a big 12 by 12 by 12 box, and Sue just dumps stuff into it. <laughs> says, Here you go. I, uh, it, might, it, it might be closer to $700 worth of product. I don't know. Uh, but she just tosses it in there and goes out, and uh, what you get, you get. But it's that is pretty so cool. Yeah. That's really cool, though. All right, Dave, are you ready? Here we go. I I'm calling. I, I called Moe's 20. I'm calling Dave's. Benjamin hundred dollar bill. He's getting a ten dollar bill. Mm -mm. Ten dollar bill. I got the ten. Top off. Mm hmm. Is it? Is, is it deep? <laughs> Mine wasn't. It, what? What is it with you guys getting off camera? Do you have no experience dipping in on camera? What's going on? <laughs> right. There you go. Look at in Diablo. Look at I believe I have had. Almost every cent from Fable, I've missed like one or two, and yes, I do have the Cuban. I do too. I got the Cuban. That's a good. Serious one. thoughts, Mo, Mo. Is the presentation fun? Is it a fun thing? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. For sure. I would, okay. Whoa. Well. Ah! <laughs> is it that Ooh, much? Right. If you can't. You can't count it. What's going on? It's no, a ten or a hundred. 20. Oh, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> That's cool. That works. Well, so that works. means Dan is going to get the 100. I'll That's take it. Mean. I'll take it. I don't have much luck, but I uh are any of you are any of you gamblers do you like going to the casino? Casino's fun. Uh, I've been once. I don't know how to you gamble. Go with, you got to go with 20 bucks though. That's all you get allowed to spend. That's it. My family couldn't find me for 3 weeks cuz of pool tabs. We won't talk about it. <laughs> 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 Total joke. No, I only, I only gamble is a serious addiction, folks. If it's my dad's money, like he'll he'll we'll go to the casino just for some like bro time, some dude time. He'll throw me some money. He's like, give me half of the profits. I'm like, deal. That, that that's a great deal. I, I'm in for that. So I don't I don't like losing money. I get like sick to my stomach. So last, last time I went to Vegas, my my buddy was like, here, Dave, here's twenty bucks. Play whatever you win, just pay me back. And I'm like, all right, cool. I ended up winning like 250 bucks. I'm like, here's your 20 bucks. Worst, <laughs> yeah, right. Worst anxiety ever. There's a YouTube video. I want to say it's from like mid 2000s. This guy had his whole life savings and he rolled to the casino and bet it on one spin of the roulette wheel. It was like 250 grand or something. Oh my gosh. 50 50. You'll have to watch it and find it on YouTube, but it's, it's like, oh, it's kind of nerve wracking. Yeah, man. And then you get into like the statistics because I, I would used to go and I would like watch. I'm like, all right, three red in a row. I'm black, I'm betting black. And then a statistics <laughs> professor would be like, the ball does not remember where it went last time. The statistics are the same. I'm like, no, there's no way it's the same. And then I'm like, I can't do it anymore. I can't do it. Anymore. I'll play yeah, the man. machines, but like as far as like card games, stuff like that, no. I won I won 500 bucks on the machine the first time I went gambling. And that was the last time I went too. I took the money and I ran. I was like, "All right, it's time to go." <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Stock absolutely. market's enough gambling for me. Right, and it's been down the last two days, but that just yeah. means buy, 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 people buy. I yeah. I dropped I dropped some serious yesterday. To the moon. It, yep, it continued <laughs> to drop today, so I put in some more. So, uh, yeah, I'm getting getting comfortable with that and. Uh, it is that. That's enough gambling for me, but I like. It. I'm playing it safe, by the way. I'm, I'm mutual funds, you know, keeping it, keeping it cool. So I, I got a, a little Easter egg fable text message here that 
you guys might find some some channel in there called the goddess so it might be somebody that might be seeing some future collab later and i don't think either one of y'all knew who that is so oh, that's the goddess yeah if you see that in the chat is that the soon? goddess mm. you gonna give us some insight uh well you know fable's not just for the man anymore true what well, it hasn't it's never been just yeah, it's been for it's been for a while but you know we're we're taking um <clears throat> we're taking oh, we we can only focus on so much at one time but we are taking the women's line uh to the next level with uh, the princess at the helm here over the next few months um and uh we have a lot of characters uh some of which are are friends of ours in real life um, some of which are related to other people, uh, you know, just the way that we normally do with Fable stuff. Um, but we're researching everything from facial creams to legit uh, cosmetic products, you know, eyeshadow palettes, you know, that wow. kind of stuff, like full-on uh, Fable line for women. Wow. Yeah. That's wild. That, that's fantastic. And uh, if, if everybody doesn't know, uh, Bearded Motivation and my wife are in the, the female line, the women's line from Fable, uh, which is such a cool honor. Uh, there and she then, is. Yep. And then even more of an, an Easter egg, Sam has been in Fable. I've been in Fable. And also my son Maddox mm. for a brief moment in time. You wanted a limited product, man. That was it. If you were early in on Fable... Yep. yep, the student yep. might have to make a comeback here soon. And we you. still have it. My mom, I don't know if you remember this. My mom bought from, yeah, me. I do. I remember yeah. my mom purchased from Fable to get Man, the student we... and to get the teacher. And it was a, it was a child's body wash. Yeah. And uh, she still has the bottle and it's still perfectly fine. A That's good amazing. two years later. That's yep. amazing. <laughs> yep. We just like two weekends ago, I was up there and we just busted out uh, the student. <laughs> so that's, that's kind of cool. That is so super awesome. Cool. All right. Let's go ahead and throw our fourth giveaway of the night. And Colin, thank you for doing these. You didn't you didn't have to do oh, anything. Yeah. You didn't have to include any of us. You you have your own platform. So sincerely, I, I sent you a, a really heartfelt message. I meant every bit of it. Thank you for including us, man. That when you bring people up with you, that that's a true test of character there. It smells like money. Yes. All right. And Fable then Cologne, get, huh? As I get this raised, there's a question from uh, Bearded Billy. And he says, uh, do you make enough product at one time uh, that you need to put a made on date? Um, I don't understand the question so much. Yeah, I... I think you yeah, said... Yeah. You mean like a born on date? Like a, like a, like a, a whiskey or something? I think so. I think that's <clears throat> what you're getting at. Um... I wouldn't say so. I don't know that there's very many companies that I can even recall that have those born on dates uh, for freshness. Because if you look in the bottom corner um, right here of the product, the 12 month or nine see, month yeah, for you, you'll see a little symbol. And my camera's not as good here, but it looks like a little open jar. That universal symbol in the cosmetics industry of like, estimated shelf life um i believe our oils here we've got nine months on them so that's well you know dan has some great videos on his channel about the longevity of oils and uh i would say it's a good range most carrier oils last about two years yes that but, is the the average plus or minus and you're being yeah, yeah. very safe on that number yeah yeah but the fragrances will lose potency over time, especially if they're open, close, open, close, yep. different uh, bottling Oxidation. and whatnot. Uh, but uh, we give it a good solid nine months. You shouldn't see too much of an issue or change in anything over that time period. Uh, but that's why we put that on there. But as far as like a born on date, uh, no. And I would say the reason for that is mainly for the logistics. Um, if you look at our Instagram, we could have anywhere from Thirty to 40,000 oils in stock at any given time. So 
putting labels with different dates on all of that would be an absolute logistical nightmare. I couldn't even imagine right. doing that. I don't know how right. the whiskey companies do it, but you know, more power to them. Right. And there's nothing legal behind that with cosmetics yeah. either. You don't have to, of course. So, and, and yeah, he's being very gracious. Logan said he has some over two years old. I have some, I think my collab is over two years old now mm -hmm. and it's still, still going fresh and it's a citrus scent. So that, mm -hmm. that says a lot because those usually dissipate pretty quickly there. So, uh, yeah, pretty awesome. And in case anybody wonders and is new to beard care, generally, and we're just, we're speaking in averages here. A one ounce bottle is going to last most beardsmen if you just simply use that bottle one month. That That's a good rule of thumb. You can go through a bottle of beard oil in a month. Now, so, I would say a normal beardsman too, to kind of add on to that. And I say normal, right? Because uh, most people growing a beard stop where Mo's at yeah. and they don't continue. Uh, but if you're in that stage and you're just trying beard oil and you want to kind of make it past that stage of where Mo's at right now, They'll probably last you about three months, I would say. Absolutely. If you're doing it right. Some yeah. guys slather it on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get it going there. Old so wet lit. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's show our next giveaway winner. If you are here, we've been perfect so far. Please comment and let us know you're here, and it is your win. Ryan Whitaker is actually a super talented photographer. He just took a picture of like the Milky Way a couple days ago. He sent me a picture of I love super those candy cool. bars. That's probably awesome. <laughs> shot. Hey, hey, Ryan, Ryan, send me that picture. I want to see that too, man. That's cool. dude, it's beautiful. He was like, I'm Have you ever thought of taking pictures? Of I was like, Not like that. No, you know, I, I, on a side note, since he's a photographer, I bet you those like super, super, super close up microscopic, you know, what I'm talking about those pictures yep. that they take us stuff of like a hair follicle. I yep. bet you the inside of different candy bars would rock on Instagram if you had those. Ooh. Like a Three Musketeers bar is a different texture than like the peanutty Snickers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't, I think people could be into that. Don't do that to me, Colin. That's, <laughs> that's too much. All right, Ryan, congrats. I'm going to put the email down at the bottom for you to go ahead and, and reach out to that. Uh, I'm going to see if he, he takes some super cool pictures. This is uh, – I'm going to show one on screen. It's not the one he sent me the other day. Actually, he might. He might actually have it in his messages here because I, I, I stuff just fascinates me like that. It's like, man, mm. how, how are we in this world? You get too deep with that. Mm. You know? <laughs> uh, you here, know, it's infinite complexity, man. Oh, uh, so peep that. That's one of his pictures. Wow, uh, that's dope. How cool is that? So I, I, that's like, I just love that's like a people. super time lapse. Shot. Yep. I don't know how to edit like that, but that's all. Yep. And he had the one that he sent, right yeah, he sent me the other day, and it's not the like time lapsed one. It's just the straight up uh, Milky Way, which is so cool. So to answer the Vikings question down here about the mega boxes, um, so the mega boxes, uh, you'll receive an email because what what we do is we just pick these random people that have placed the orders. And we'll just duplicate and create a new order of which you'll just get another order email notification. Hey, you ordered the mega box. And then those will get sent out. Uh, they'll prop the, the mega boxes are probably going to go out much sooner than the banker. Um, just, just because of the logistics of it. That's we've, that's like ready. Of cool. Course, like tomorrow. Ready, set, go. Uh, uh, no, the goddess is not my wife. The princess is my wife. Mm -hmm. Um, the goddess is what we like to call in the life of friendship a sister wife. So, okay, okay, nice. Wife. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. You know, you have your friends and you have your wife's best friends, and they're around so much. You know, they become like family, so that sort of thing. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. I thought we were talking okay. Utah here. So no, 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 no <laughs> Amish stuff. <laughs> Just. <laughs> All right, it is my turn to dig into the the butter here. All right, he's getting that one hundo. He's getting that still hundo. coming off. I'm guessing ten. There's got there's got to be, a, and it's still fantastic. Trust me, that will buy me Pete away tomorrow. So that that will that will be good. Oh man, we went camping for last week, and I didn't have any Pete away, and so I came home, and then today I smashed Pete away so quickly. 
Oh, just so you know, Dan, you better watch out. I've been working these calves like five days a week. Just saying. Yeah. Yeah. Well, mine are sixteen point <laughs> five now, buddy. You better watch out. Ooh. Yeah. Well, these twenty-inch pythons. When you catch up, let me know. Y'all yeah. just joke yeah. because you can't drink you and have calves like mine. True. Keep it up. Next week when I take out to dinner, I'll make you eat a salad. How about that? I like salad. Next week? <laughs> yeah, that's when I move. And he's taking you out to dinner? Yeah, I'm gonna go. We're gonna we're gonna go see the Wiz, man. He's gonna stay at the Wiz's house. Wow. At the castle, bro. All right. Got it open two minutes. Him. I get to see him next week too. I'm excited. Yeah, we're gonna see him in no Georgia. way. Yeah. All right. Someone said I got a 48 inch waist. Top that. Okay. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's Dude, we, had a calf off. we did right. have a calf face off at Disney. I do see the denomination. All right. What are your guys' guesses? Chat, what do you 100. think I got? I'm going to go for the hat trick. I like okay. to live dangerously. He got the 120s. Odds are in my favor. He got the hug. Get messy. Well, see, that's you know, you got to use the fun. It. Yeah, you said it beforehand. I did. <laughs> you said we're gonna get greasy. We're gonna get messy. You're gonna have to give a little back massage afterwards. <laughs> All right. Can anybody make it out yet? That's a twenty. Oh. It is a twenty. So yeah. I got a twenty dollar bill. The wizard. <laughs> <laughs> Better bet it all on black, man. The, the wizard is good right black. here. It is a twenty. I'll be buying some more pita way tomorrow. Yes. You'd be, yeah. be set for two days at least for pita way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll probably take the mayor out. You know, just because it's like the banker. I feel like it's kind of the mayor's in there. Oh. So I'll take him out to some, some pita way. So twenty dollars. And again, guys, if you get this, this is everybody. You're going to have a 10, a 20, a 50, or a 100. Man, Colin, I cannot wait to see the Instagram post. Oh, my God. They're going to be nice. Awesome. Be nice. God, please, 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 if you're in here and you're getting the banker, tag me. Tag me. me. I want to see those yeah. pictures of you pulling out the money. Yes, for sure. What's Pete away? Brent, you must not follow my Instagram much, man. You're, kill you're killing me, mister. Uh, now, there's no Pete away in Cleveland, okay? I will say that, Brent. Um, I, I know you. Uh, there's no pita way in Cleveland. It's just a local Mediterranean like chain by me. It's uh, it, my buddy owns it. Um, I've never been paid by them. There's no endorse. Everyone's always like sponsored by them. No, I just love it with a passion. And it's just good Mediterranean food. It's it's uh, I'm sure there's places like it all over the country. I've seen like pita pits and stuff like that. But it's called pita way and chicken rice. It's all it's real food. You know, I just enjoy eating real mm. food. It's not garbage. Mm. It's not crap. Full you make me guarantee. you make me want to go to Michigan just to try Peter Wood. Dude, it's so good. It took like four months for me to realize what Dan meant when he was saying B dubs. I'm like, I don't understand this lingo. I don't know what that <laughs> means. So I had to like look it up and Reddit told me B dubs was B W W Buffalo Wild. And I was like, oh, that makes sense now. Do you guys have did you have yeah, B dubs? Yeah, you have them, but like I don't know the I don't frequent it enough for have the B dub slang go down. That's funny. Uh Doug Sloan, my moderator. I just went to B dubs with him on Friday. All the moderators. Yeah, that's hilarious. Yeah, we love B dubs. Oh, I we, love we, hummus. You love hummus? Hummus, hummus is, is I can make homemade hummus, but yeah, hummus, woof, that stuff's so good. So Sam yeah. gets hummus with it. I don't go hummus. Yeah, I chicken out a little that's bit. Messed up. That's messed up now. I know. I, my So my Mediterranean food is pretty basic. I just get a rice base, I get almonds, I get white meat chicken, some cayenne pepper, and some cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Sam's like, <laughs> Sam's like yeah. give me the hummus, the cucumbers, the, the onions, the lettuce, the the sauce, all that stuff. I just, I just go with the basic. But I, I'm like you, though. If I find something that I like, I'll eat it every single day. Mm -hmm. Like if I can do something, yeah, that's it. I don't like waste. I just told you guys, I don't like to gamble. I don't lose. I hate losing money. I don't care how much it is. So if I find something at a place, I know I like it. I keep going back I'm to start it. Start a business. So. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. For sure. All right, Mo, we got some people just joining here. What? Corey Cross says, I just joined. 
What's the Fable Vault? Oh, boy. The Fable Vault. Where is it? Right here. It is an exclusive, exclusive. Access to Mo's OnlyFans account. <laughs> right. So if you're part of, no, but seriously, Fable Vault, an amazing, amazing thing that Colin and Wizard team over there is doing. They're giving back to the community, giving back to all the Fable fans. This is a vault that is exclusive for people that signed up for. So what does that mean? So if someone comes off the street and they want to purchase this, they can't get it unless they signed up for the Fable Vault on the website. And you're going to get an oil, butter, and co-wash for 100 bucks. But with that being said, you're going to either get a $10 bill, $20 bill, $50 bill, or $100 bill inside your butter. So make sure you go back and watch the, um, the live stream from the beginning where we all dug in and got our money in here. From here, think of it, so think of it this way. It started here. In but here. the Fable Vault is going to be like Fable's version of the keynote event once, twice a year. That's what I'm thinking of it as. It's you like who I mean? wants to be a mini millionaire? <laughs> it just We're cracks gonna... me up. Like, it's so cool, though. So cool. Like the fact that I've never seen this before, the excitement that you've seen on Dan's face, my face, Dave's face when we're digging in the butter pulling out that little envelope or, you know, to see what we won. We all won $20. Um, so that's super cool, guys. Super cool that Colin and the team are doing that. Yeah, we were just sitting around the lab and I was like, but, but what if you put it inside the butter, man? Like, what would, you know, could we do that? Can we put it inside the butter? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's so cool. That's so cool, man. I, Again, so fun. I think the only rule has to be that we got we got to all be involved in the next one. You you name the date and right. we're in. Well, well, well the the uh, tentative date is six months after this one whoosh, whoosh, cuts down. So uh, we got some ideas. Uh, you know, we talk a lot. You guys come up with things that you'd like to see, and uh, I'm sure we can make something happen. But it's uh, it's gonna be something related to riches and told. So That's cool. Man. I, Christmas time, guys. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. Oh, six months. Yeah, we're like Christmas in July now, so that will be Christmas time. I got an idea. We'll talk oh, about more. Oh, man. <laughs> hmm. Seriously, and a really cool one in the future would be doing this in the same location. That would be fun. Oh. Launching yeah, it together. That would, really nice. mm -hmm. that would be really cool. That would be fantastic. Just. So yeah. Speaking of future things, we have a lot of interested parties in, in the comments of what's coming for the rest of the year for Fable. So if, if you have a, a specific related question, I'd like to, to give people a chance to, to throw those up there. But um, I will launch some, throw some bangers out there. Yeah, what do you got? Okay, well, okay, man, put me on the spot. <laughs> um, well, something that um, I am very proud of uh, that has been a, a long time in the making, um, the, the Wizard has always been very, very involved in uh, fitness, nutrition, uh, lifting, things of that nature. It's a whole family event around here. All of our friends, if you're not a lifter, you know, get out. Uh, but exciting! <laughs> it's a very exciting thing. But let's just say it will be the banger of all banger beard growth supplements on the market, and it's going to be launching extremely, extremely soon. Well, hold on now. You should have done it when I shaved my beard, so I could have used it to grow my beard with. Well, I guess you'll just have to shave it again, big boy. Just to say, uh, Mo, not everything works on uh, Mo timeline because we know how and, that works out. <laughs> and this also has been something that's been in the works for over six months now and not just thrown together. Yeah. Uh, when I was looking back, because I wanted to find this because people, again, were like, you're just doing this stream on a Thursday? I'm like, no, this has been – this <laughs> has literally been scheduled for six months, people. Mm. Those messages were in that same bunch where you're talking about what you just dropped right now. And mm. it's been talked mm. about for over a year. That's true. Planned six this. months ago, but talked about for over. I remember when we started talking about it. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, that uh, means we, if we're going to relaunch the next vault, that means Dan C is forced to still love me six months from now. 
Yeah. <laughs> it's contracted in. <laughs> hey, that's never wavered. So you can't be hating on me when my calves get bigger than yours, bro. Remember that? We still we still gotta do these. So <laughs> <laughs> that's a lifetime contract locking the princess in there too, buddy. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Right. I like it. I Speaking like that mo no pressure, but I see you over there, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, where are you at, Mo? Where are you at, Mo? <laughs> well, it's coming. Oh. Ooh. Uh, I like hit that it. mute button at the house. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> nice. I can't tell you guys. She may be watching. <laughs> All right. Yeah, right. <laughs> and uh, Mr. Mo Bearded Shark, so we just heard about some really exciting news from Fable. And again, guys, I told you the teacher is one of my collabs with Fable. But Mr. Mo, what's what's new coming up in your world? You got anything planned? Anything you're excited about with the channel, with life in general? Um, I just did a reset, as you guys can see. Most of you guys probably watching never heard of me. I'm the bearded shark. Yes, my beard is longer than this, but I shaved. It was time to do a reset. Um, I'm gonna do it all Dan C style this time. So everything that you guys see, whether it turns out to be good or bad, the teacher right here and the barber underneath me are the only ones. Are going to control how big my beard gets how i trim it how i style it so these two right here you guys see on camera are they going to be the ones that control the length of my beard how i trim it what do i need to use what not use so one day i want to be on the beard advice series with dan c like i want him to show me how to do all this stuff um so that was the goal i needed a reset i've tried so many products um, and you know, just for me, reset means like it's time to regrow and stuff like that, but new exciting things coming. <clears throat> yeah. I don't want to drop it on the camera over here until it gets all finalized and stuff like that. There's definitely some exciting things to come and, uh, beard related life related. And, um, you know, I'm excited for everybody to see what's coming. That is awesome, man. Congrats, congrats on, on the, the regrowth, and that's mm -hmm. super exciting. I yeah, Oh, yeah, I like control, so I'm good with that. No, no pressure towards you and towards Dave, but you guys are control of this beard right here. <laughs> I will get a message, a random message. It'll be a picture of most front profile, side profile, side profile. What do I do? Yeah. <laughs> I yep. take my I take my iPad and I like draw lines on his face, like right where he needs to trim it. Cool. And he does it. He gets yeah, it done. So, for yeah. sure. So I'm gonna hit Colin with some rapid fire questions. And hold I know on. you probably see some. Hold on, I gotta, I, I gotta say something. It just like sparked it. I can feel it. The ideas they come and they just flow out, and we make them happen. And that's always the way I like to work. This person said, "Rush Young said, please open the vault on New Year's Eve." Do you know what we could create surrounding a New Year's Eve themed thing? Right. Whatever that is, that just has so much excitement behind it Ooh. with the coloring and the lights and the. I just felt like a gangster. Did you see what happened? I think we're going to have to think about that one pretty hard. There's so okay. many cool things that could be done. Okay. That one deserves a beard shake. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> uh, so I'm Colin, I'm gonna hit you with some questions here, okay. and then, and then Dave, I'm gonna hit you with the same question I gave Mo. But um, will there be any other products hit the vault over the next seven days? No. Nope. And then it's gone. This is yep. it. Yep. This is it. All right. Uh, so that, next... That's another thing. The vault will always uh, remain a one product store. And what that means is there's not any links. There's not anything to click around. There's not anything. Most of the time you go to the homepage, all the things you add to the cart goes right to the checkout. It's really meant to be an experience surrounding that product at that time, whatever that may be. Yep. And it's only six months too. So this isn't going to be something that's going to keep coming up and being pressure and all that stuff. It's, it's literally twice a year, which is so cool. Um, and then we've gone over this a bunch, but I think it'd be great if, Colin, if you just hit this real quick for Mr. Mora. How do I access yes. the vault? Sorry, I'm lost here. And I think <laughs> drop the comment for it. Well, to be lost, you are in a perfect place to find guidance, my liege. Mm, that's why uh, I asked him. <laughs> the vault um, is a super exclusive pre-sign-up event um, that we are dropping twice a year. However, we decided to do a pre-event live stream with all of these wonderful gentlemen of which everyone in the group who probably are not signed up from previous six months have access to a code for pre-launch. 
uh, you go to thefablevault.com, you will see a, a little white lock in the top right hand corner. Click on that and you'll see a box pop up underneath um, all of the information there and it'll say enter password. Enter the password money and the vault will be open to you. Uh, then you have access to that product. It'll tell you what's in it. It'll tell you what you get. It'll tell you um, the scent profile, all of the ingredients of our stuff. Um, and it's very simple to easy, easy to use. Sezzle is also activated on there if you're unfamiliar with what Sezzle is. It's a uh, buy now, pay later type of thing. Uh, that's handled everything with the banking end of Sezzle. So if uh, if the, the, the wizard and fable get paid either way once the order goes in. So whatever you do with them is your own business. I don't come pound you for money. I'm not knocking on your door. I'm not getting the barber and the barbarian to come, you know, get yank money out of your pocket. Uh, uh, they Everything's handled on, on that end. So you pay 25%. Um, and then I think it's broke down every two weeks after that, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and yes. so it's paid off in four payments. Yep. Yep. Every two weeks you pay the quarter down and then mm -hmm. it's, it's from there zero interest for the, the consumer. So yep. keep right. that in mind. And Dave will appreciate this. They're not coming for kneecaps. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, there's, it, there's a backstory. Just inside story mm -hmm. there. All right. Colin. <laughs> so oh, you knees, notice I have a, a dusty Dave. I have a random brandless hat here because I didn't oh. want to put my logo and just be screaming myself, but I didn't want to put any other company's logos. I am a hat freak, as you know. I'm in triple digits. Mm. And one I do not have is a Fable hat. And Indy Wolf says, we getting hats yet? <clears throat> uh, the wizard has attempted... Uh, several companies over the last uh, year and a half on, on doing uh, uh, hats. I, I've gotten one mock-up hat uh, sent to me. Uh, for whatever reason, those relationships didn't just didn't pan out. Um, there are a lot of different designs, um, different patch ideas. Um, but, you know, the wizard enjoys relationships, whether it's business or friendships that are transactional. Um, I want to feel like I'm getting as much value as a customer as you guys do being a customer of beard products. So it goes the same for me. If I don't feel like I'm valued in the conversation when I'm shopping around for different suppliers. I just don't go with them. Uh, so uh, some of the big suppliers of which you probably are already familiar with make amazing hats, uh, but they're in a game on another level where they don't, they don't care who we are. Or, you know, they just, you know, want to make that transaction. So um, I have a couple local companies that I'm looking into. Uh, we already have designs that are ready to go. Uh, but at this point with Fable, I can't just order 20 hats and say, hey, here's 20 hats. Um, you know, we're talking ordering five to 10,000 hats at a time. So, you know, that it, it takes a lot more planning, but they are coming soon. I understand how important hats are to all you guys. Um, and we are working on them. Makes sense. Oh, I think. Sorry, same. sorry. I'm muted. There he is. There have been hundreds. I'm not exaggerating. Hundreds of people asking tonight, is this coming back? Is this coming back? Is this <laughs> coming back? What about this one? Is this going to make an appearance? What about this one? There's zero chance you can answer all those questions. In mm -hmm. general, mm -hmm. what is your response when people reach out? Is this coming back? Maybe. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Uh, you know, it's, it's kind of fluid. We have a plan. Everything's planned six months in advance. Uh, pretty much. Um, we already have about 90% of the rest of the year already done as far as artwork and character releases are concerned. I will say that, uh, we will have four fall releases. Um, one of which is new. Uh, we will have five uh halloween theme since this year um only one of which is original which is returning from last year the rest of them are all new that's not including the subscription characters which will obviously be new and themed for that month and time of year uh so i guess there's six technically there mm. and um as far as uh fable christmas is concerned uh I believe we are at five now there as well. Uh, so whatever was done last year, 
uh, we heard feedback. We rolled with what went well. We're uh, keeping others that did not do so well. And um, we are moving on to bigger and better uh, pastures. But I will gain some much, much, much needed excitement in, in behalf of Little Wizard here. I asked my son what, you know, the elf was inspired by him last year. So what do you want? He said, oh, I want an elf drinking cocoa. Perfect. Boy, done. This one's for you. <clears throat> so we asked him the same question this year, and we said, what kind of character do you want for Christmas this year? And he's in the back of the wizard's truck, and he looks at me, and he says, Dad, I want the evil Christmas character, the Krampus. And I'm like, okay. That's okay, awesome. let's, let's do it. <laughs> You would not believe how many requests we've had for a Krampus character over, over the last couple of years. Uh, so that will be coming. Um, that, but that's the only one I'm going to throw out there as being a, a definite. You, know, you don't want to give away the whole farm. Cool. And, and we've said this phrase tonight. And there's people tuning in for probably the first time seeing your company, which is so fantastic. Jamie asked, what is the subscription character that you keep talking about that we've oh, okay. mentioned? What is that? Yeah, you know, I talk and I, I just assume... You know, everybody knows Fable. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> but, okay, so uh, about, I guess it was a year or so ago, uh, maybe it's been over a year now, we launched the ability to create your own character on Fable. Um, and, and with that, um, each character was different, but we were never intending to just release those. It was just meant to be, you know, hey, you buy a character, you get a couple combos, talk with the wizard, we make you artwork, it goes out to you, boom, done, you get something cool to keep. But we felt, man, you know, some of these are just really too cool not to share with the rest of the world. Um, so of all of these custom characters we've created, we decided to pick a few here and there. Um, and every single month, you can sign up for the Fable Army subscription on our website. Um, and you can choose between oils, butters, balms, and, and it, or all four products. And every single month, you get a new character that was a custom character created by somebody in the community previously. Uh, so none of these are just things that we just created one off. All the scent blends are unique. All the artwork's unique. Um, and it's just something that's created uh, with... Uh, the community for the community. So it's a really cool way to get exclusive things. They only come once and then they're gone. This month is the Guardian, uh, which is a very, very intriguing whiskey, sea, um, night vibe type of scent to it. Uh, it's very, very cool. And yeah, there's been a ton of those. Um, and, and a lot of people love collecting the subscription characters because um, they're one-offs. Uh, once they're there, they're gone. Um, yeah. But yeah. Didn't you used to have them listed at the bottom, all the previous ones? Uh, we did, uh, but then it started taking up too much space. I believe it. Uh, so so we took that down. Um, but, you know, we could put that back up again, but, you know, people can go to uh, uh, cool. our Instagram. We have super, super sleuths. My wife and Dan's wife, right? Well, next that, to that's another thing. I, I really want to give um, a, an amazing shout out to the princess. Not only does she handle customer service, she handles uh, the wizard's uh, temper and, and angst and just business. You know, 95% or more of everything you've seen at Fable, the way we run our company, the character ideas, the way the website's laid out, the things we offer for our customers have all come from the princess first. The wizard is just the vessel behind that. Uh, she, my wife is a very talented uh, marketing uh, guru, pretty much. Uh, she's got her degree in marketing from Regent University. And um, most of the ideas that you see on the company have come from her. And her, along with the goddess and um, some other people in our life, are going to de be developing uh, an amazing uh, product line for women's stuff. Um, we have had a ton of women come over to using Fable, um, and, and they want more, and we want to give it to them. Um, we're talking anywhere from natural deodorants to cosmetics to like eyeshadow palettes and face creams and, you know, just 
whatever you can think of under the sun related to women's care, uh, we're looking into it. Um, massage oils, um, you know, things of that nature. Um, in very, very cool fable fashion. And in some cases with her perfectionism, uh, you know, uh, I can even imagine the uh, women's line taking the labeling of fable probably to another level um, that might shape what we do at fable corely, uh, you know, in the future. Wow. That's so awesome. Yeah. That so so cool. that thoroughly answers that. And then the nurturer, do you have any plans to, to restock any of that with the, these new additions and everything? Uh, is it out of stock now? I don't know. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, my, my shop manager, Sue, usually handles that. She told me to throw up, you know, 20 of the Enchantress butters a couple days ago and uh, the body butters. And it, if it's not up there, it can definitely be but i'm pretty sure okay it's All right. available right now good and man these questions keep coming which is so cool but dave mr motivation what do you have uh coming up on in your channel your life what, what's going on i know we got some big big stuff going on we have a huge life-changing event coming up here next week it's almost here already man i'm so stoked um but we are actually swooping up everything we know is life and we are moving back to the Midwest. Yes, Dan made that up. I had to keep it going. <laughs> but uh, we're moving back to Minnesota. And uh, that's going to be a crazy, awesome weekend. We're going to drive up to Tennessee. I am going to finally meet the Wizard and Mo. Um, Mo is going to be a stop on the way. He said no matter what he's doing, he's going to tell his boss. I think we might do a special team. live stream from the lab, yeah. And we're probably going to do a hype from the lab, too. So that's going to be pretty cool. cool. Uh, so look out for that. That'll be two weekends. So that'll be the 24th. So 24th that night. Not going to get a lot of sleep that weekend. But you know what? It's going to be awesome. And it's going to be totally worth it. So. got enough magic to keep it going. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> what is sleep? It's overrated. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> so I got to try and find a gym along the way, too. I don't know how I'm going to do that without working out. But we'll figure it out. Um there so are some came on Friday, days. but you wanted to skip deadlift day. So, you know. Yeah, my back, man. I can't. Uh -huh. I can't. <laughs> um, also, uh, I am I got some other things in the mix, too. I mean, obviously, we just released uh, the Master Barber, which is – and I'm going to say it here now, and I'm going to send Dan one of them because I don't know if he's gotten it yet. Have you gotten it yet, Dan? I have not. I, I'm, I'm so glad. that true love uh -huh. at Dan? I will. I'm so bad at keeping up. Mm -hmm. So, so the Master Barber guys, if you guys have ever smelled like the regular Barber line, with the Master Barber, I wanted it to be the best barber shop scent you have ever smelled in your entire life. And being a barber, somebody who cuts hair, I know what the smell is that you would smell at the end of a haircut. So what I did was I was like, all right, here's what we need, wizard, make it happen. And I think we went through like five different scents, maybe a little bit more, um, but it was over a process of time and we we made it happen. It was um, by far the best bar. And I'm not a huge barbershop fan either, guys. So it says a lot if I say I like the barbershop scent. Um, it is amazing. It's the most complex barbershop scent I've ever smelled. Oh, so. good. Barbershops are really, really hard. You would think that that would be an easy scent profile to accomplish being beard care and shave care being so prevalent. It's almost non-existent uh, as far as uh, ways to get ideas for fragrance creation through barbershop stuff. Um, so a lot of that has to be created uh, along the way, more so than some other scent profiles come together. Yeah. Yeah. And, and obviously, uh, I did get a job. So I've been working. I started my job last week. And I have been enjoying it right now. It's a lot of cramming, a lot of knowledge of the system. And uh, so I'm going to be doing that, going to Minnesota. And then I obviously have to get my Minnesota barber board license so that I can cut hair there. And I will continue, obviously, to do YouTube and probably do some. We're going to try to, like, actually, since I'll have a studio now to work whenever I want to. Um, I'm not in my living room yelling so my family can hear me. You know what I mean? But uh, it's, it's going to be awesome. I think it's going to be a whole bunch of different for me to have the ability to 
just sit down whenever my creative juices start flowing to go in there and just get it done. So, um, yeah, it's going to be awesome, though, man. I'm super stoked. That it's just everything. Everything is finally coming together with us moving there and all the cool stuff that's to come on YouTube and and barbering. It's just going to be great. I'm I'm excited. So that's awesome, man. I'm, I'm super super happy for you. Truly, yeah. truly happy. And I may I may have to go bug Dan one time and take the golf cart for a drive or something. Hey, I don't know if you'll fit. <laughs> it's a mini golf cart, but you can ride mine first, big boy. I just yeah. want to see. I just want to see Dan take a picture of the golf cart. <laughs> yeah, no, Collins is built for you. Mine is built for my kids. <laughs> yeah, no, no Three hundred pound man just sitting in his cart, just woo. Yeah, we'll balance it out. They'll think we did that. What is it called? The Carolina Squad on it. Oh my oh, god! Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Didn't those become illegal? Didn't the Carolina Squad oh, yeah. illegal? For sure. Yeah, for sure. Passed the law. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. And Claire, glad, silly. glad you got it worked out. Uh, he was seeing anybody any similar uh, to anybody else. I was able to get it work. He said he thinks it was Apple Pay issues. Oh. Clint, I appreciate it, man. Thank you for the update. I'm glad. I'm glad it all worked out for you. So good. Absolutely. All right. We are. St- Two hours, almost two hours in here, which Whoa. is fantastic. I know wow. it's when when streams are going well, how fast the time goes is absurd. Like truly absurd to the point where I don't think people would know until they experience it. Like two hours, as I would explain it to my kids, that's six Pokemon episodes. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's how we gauge time. They're like. Dad, how far are we? I'm like, we're two Pika episodes away. Calm down, right? Let's let's, let's relax here. But awesome. we have one more giveaway to do in stream, right? In stream here. And then also keep in mind, if you guys order tonight, you are entered into five mega box, $500 plus of products, random things. Maybe it's a subscription scent that's not available anymore. Maybe it's a seasonal scent that's not available anymore. That's that's kind of a cool aspect of it too. They're getting some random stuff that maybe you can't even purchase, which I think is pretty sweet. So if anybody gets a giveaway, if anybody gets their money, what we encourage you guys to do is post it on Instagram, tag Fable, tag us. I think that's going to be a really fun part about that experience, seeing a $100 bill pop it out of that butter. You know, seeing those different things going. Speaking of yeah. fun experiences, the princess just hit me with something a little interesting, but I'm going to step it up just a little bit. Um, I, I've been seeing the, you know, the wizard has a lot of true fable fans out there. And I think our artwork really is on another level. Um, so, so if there are any adventurers out there that are fancying a, a new tattoo, and it just so happens to be related to the fable lands of some sort. Uh, the princess wants to offer a, a two-year supply of beard oil. However, I, I'm thinking a tattoo is a little bit more permanent like that. Uh, so uh, within reason, I don't have any problems, so to speak, of giving away, you know, lifetime supply of beard oil, you know, for, for something like that. I think that's, you know, kind of worth it. Um, All right, let me, let me go get a needle. That just went. <laughs> what do you want? That just happened. Words were spoke. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. That's cool. Cool. We'll see what happens with that if somebody caught that in stream or not. You know, we have a lot of. Uh... That's crazy. Oh, she said products, not just oil. So now I'm getting in trouble. What you talking about? No. So they're going to get yeah. products. Oh, yeah. Totally, totally doable. Well, now you just, you just, ups- I have seven humans on this planet that have my logo tattooed on them. Oh. Seven. But I'm you are going to get a lot saying, more than that. I have a lot of tattoos and I'm saving. I'm going to do this one to cover up with the princess. I can just imagine the hero or the, you know, the hands down be an awesome thing. Yeah. Yeah, and the artwork is so nice, man. Could you imagine like the detail in the tattoo? Absolutely. Oh, that'd be. So I cool. wanted to keep this whole arm for like a fable related sleeve. You maybe, know, of maybe, all of the characters maybe and stuff. That with the done. shark or something. That'd be maybe so cool. Put the shark on their body. <laughs> cool. <laughs> and uh, Jacob, man, I'm glad you could experience the the fable ness. The the wizard. He said, first fable live stream here. I've been pretty impressed so far with the recent purchase. Look forward to many years of product and brand use. Thank Cheers. you. We have 
I mean, my brain is just exploding with ideas and ways to ways to go. All yeah. I have to say is wait, wait for this artwork that's about to come out, you guys. You guys are gonna lose your minds. Like Jeff is so amazing. And I bet you people are gonna want to get some of these new ones that are coming tattooed on them. So wait. Weird. There's a lot of cool stuff coming, especially yeah. related to the Halloween side of things. There's a, yes. so I, many good ones. I think that's when you really, mm. when Fable really like all the roads connect. Halloween, the fall, it's when beards are at their peak. It's 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 just like everything comes together for Fable at that time. Sponsoring my my Facebook group, you know, all oh, that, yeah. all that. So I I love the fall. I love that's Halloween. Your favorite it's, there's just so much that we've been able to do with the brand that um, I think just really kind of tie it all together. It doesn't just stop with the beard products and the giveaways and the, the just like the products themselves. There is a link on our site that says fables on it. You click on it. There are weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks of storylines around our characters. They are all original stories. It's a continuous thing. We have, full-time writers that work with us. We have uh, voice actors that work with us that narrate these stories for us and put them together. And each character has their own personality. And when you, it really brings a whole nother depth to, to everything. And if you're really into Fable stuff, that all of that is free for you guys. Um, it's all up on the website. That's so That's cool, so man. Cool. It's so cool. Mac with the cheese. Always got to acknowledge that. <laughs> what, what, up, what up, Mac? And That's uh, the, lion. the lion beard right there. <laughs> Tired Feats, man. Get a hold of me anytime. We are all on Instagram. You got Fable down below. You have Mo the Bearded Shark. You got Bearded Motivation. And then you talked about uh, being a history teacher and want to pick my brain. Dude, reach out to me anytime. I respond to every single message on Instagram, even if you're putting up uh, negative stories about me and talking hate about me and stuff. I still respond with a smile. Fable, I think not only has this been the biggest stream of all time, it's I think it's been the most disliked stream of all time. Oh, yeah? And, and you and I are cut I from the same cloth. Checked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and I are cut from the same cloth where I don't think they realize it that we love it. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. we enjoy that. Listen, so, listen, I am a man who decided to quit his secure job as a nurse and don wizard garb and start telling people, my liege, my lord, the Fable army is coming for you. And everybody looked at me like I was crazy. I can promise you a dislike, the zero for my life. Period. <laughs> Period. I like it. I I need it. I was just talking to my buddy. He actually lives in Nashville, and he's a legendary musician, and he's oh. uh, he's starting a YouTube channel. And he was like, "Dude, how do you deal with the trolls?" He said, "When we started, um, he was the actual he was the the lead guitarist of Florida Georgia Line." And he was like, "When we started, he was like one of our band members. The it it hit him hard. It wrecked their brain." And I was like, "I'm just wired different, man. I I love yeah. it. I need it. I appreciate it. It fuels me." So. Yeah, I've, I've worked with uh, one of one of my very good friends is um, a uh, the lead singer of a band called Citizens Way, and uh, they did it. Uh, they're a big Christian band um, and do a lot of stuff with uh, DC Talk and the Newsboys and stuff like that. And uh, he he's done filming for us and stuff in the past for for Fable stuff. And he's a good friend of mine. And you know, dealing with the entertainment industry is very similar to uh, to influencer life once you reach a certain point, whether that's deciding to put your brand in front, uh, uh, you know, uh, as a, a, a face for your own brand. You know, some companies will go out there and they'll be around for 10 years and you have no idea who runs them. I am there, you know. Um, you just learn to let it flow. Like, it, it really reaches a point where it just no longer matters, like, Facts. at all. Facts. Mm -hmm. Just noise. <laughs> yeah, it really doesn't matter. Yeah, it's just noise. Um, switching gears, my buddy JP, and I'll, I'll do a little shameless plug real quick, not for myself, but tomorrow I'm going to be on a YouTube channel known as Jake Thompson. He's one of the bigger woodworkers in the, the YouTube community, and he's actually working on a woodworking gift for me, 
and uh, he's going to be making it in Texas, shipping it to the UK to my buddy JP Woodwork down there. And then he's going to ship it from the UK back to Michigan. It's like a 10,000 mile trip, uh, 1 p.m. Eastern on Jake Thompson's channel tomorrow. Uh, but do you have anything related to, to woodworking? Any characters that incorporated that? So uh, forgive me. So JP Woodwork is based in the UK? Yeah. Wow. I didn't realize that. I'm uh he he does caddies and stuff too right he um he mainly a does spinning person? videos he spins like balls oh, okay, okay. and stuff like that interesting i've seen that so yeah. cool. you're thinking of you're thinking of john he's thinking of john dan yeah john's oh, in florida okay, okay the j kind of yeah that's why i was like i didn't know that that was in <laughs> the uk that's crazy um <laughs> no but i can imagine how far uh that guy's content is going to go specifically related to tiktok if that guy is not on tiktok yet here doing spinning videos on lathes he is missing out on some major yeah. exposure um but uh awesome. as far as a that's a very good idea um i love it I wouldn't say woodworking specifically, but we do have something for Halloween in the in the realm of um, a, a craftsman type of person. Okay, all right, I like it. I like it because yeah, I'm a big uh, Parks and Rec fan. So if you get anything mm -hmm. along the lines of like Ron Swanson, it just gets yeah. all the tingles inside. <laughs> <laughs> we think about woodworking there. All right. Let's go ahead and do our last giveaway of the night on the stream. Just a reminder, if you make a purchase, you're entered into the five mega box giveaways. And then this is the last one of the banker combo. It is an oil, a butter, a conditioner. This is going to be around for one week. And also, if you win this combo, you are getting the butter that has cash money, American dollars, money, money, uh, money. currency inside of there. So, uh, sorry. Yeah. I, I had a, the code for tonight's stream. I forgot to mention that changes. Mm. So if you leave the stream tonight and you wanted to purchase that, but you haven't signed up on the website before Ooh. the the end midnight tonight, that code is going to change. You're not going to be able to go back in tomorrow and put that code in and get access. It's changing. Ooh. So uh, just throwing that out there. Ooh, that's true. So make sure you guys sign up if you have not. Jason, bang, man. Thank you so much. Random fact, Ooh. this hat that I'm rocking tonight actually was sent to me by Jason. That's so he cool hooked hat, me man. up, and uh, he sent me this really cool hat. I thought it was, uh, again, appropriate. I don't have a Fable hat. Absolutely. I didn't want to brand too much. So super cool. Jason, thank you for everything, my friend. You are awesome. All right. This is our last on-stream giveaway. We're going to get ready to wrap this up. You do need to be here. We've been perfect so far, but... Seems like the odds are due for a re-roll, but we will see. Nah, if this is you, it's going to be a perfect. That would be crazy. If this is you, please leave a comment that simply says, hey, it's me. Can't believe I won. Anything like that. Um, if we signed in today, are we good? That's a good question. Uh, if they oh, yeah. signed in with the code, are they good? Yeah. So, so basically, um, at some point after stream, um, uh, I'm going to go upstairs probably bring me an Oreo up, a big glass of water, Ooh. and I'll be on my phone and I'll just change the code. Uh, so I don't know when that's going to happen. It'll be sometime tonight. But if you're signed up from this moment I'm speaking previously, you're going to be good because another email is going out tomorrow morning okay. to let people know who have signed up. Hey, here's the code. The vault is open. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. okay. Here is our winner. As long as they're here, hold the, the congrats until we see them comment. Michael Hummel, are you here out of the Hook'em Horns, Texas? We do ship internationally, so Texas, you are allowed to enter into this, uh, being a different country. <laughs> so, Michael Hummel, are you here? Nobody leave. If not, you are – You are. ooh. Ooh, okay, Colin. Ripping that text. I see you there. We got like a, little, a little ghetto blaster back there. Y'all don't know nothing about me. I, apparently, <laughs> apparently not. <laughs> <laughs> but it's Gigam Horns. Hey, I, I, so my cousin is an all American swimmer from the University of Texas. So I know, I know the University of Texas. I don't know much outside of that. All right. 
Michael, we do need a comment from you. This is where it gets dangerous if you are not a subscriber. You can't yeah. claim your victory. Oh. Or they they left. Got to oh, read the phone for a second. Oh, All man, right. I thought we were going to have a perfect. I know. It's not a good sign right now, but that just means people that are watching are still going to have a chance. There's somebody who like saw Michael Hummel. They were like, gosh, dang it, and they left, and <laughs> oh, we're going to re-roll, and it might be them. All right, so I'm going to give them the countdown to three, and then there's like a seven-second delay, so it's about a 10-second chance here. And once it's gone, it's gone. Even if he comes in and is like, hey, I'm here. Sorry, sorry. All right? Three, two, Come on. one. All right, now we let the the stream yard lag re-roll. Once it goes off the screen, it is gone. Man, the I knew we were we were due for a re-roll. I knew it. I think you jinxed it. I think you jinxed it. Mm, I did. I did. I'm sorry. Oh no. Oh, it's gone. It is gone. All right. Man. Hopefully everybody's here. I'm gonna jinx it even more. I feel like we have like two more re-rolls to go. Like I feel like We've been so smooth tonight. It's been so good. We always have a good time when we all hang out together. True. Mm, that's true. 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 Yeah, very, very true. All right. Let's see if this human is here. Okay. I don't know if they spelled their first name correctly. I'm just kidding. Just kidding with you, Eric. Eric G, are you here? I am a, a teacher, so I see every spelling possible when it comes to names. My favorite student of all time was a girl by the name of Juicy. Her what? real what did I just miss out on? I wasn't her real attention. government name was Juicy. Juicy. Mm -hmm. Juicy. And that's how I said it too. Wow. Yep. She had sweatpants that read Juicy oh. on the back side what of the nose. What company was that? I don't know. That's like the old pink. You know, now yeah. it's pink. Juicy. Yeah. Maybe it was this juicy. is a true oh. story. Her name is Juicy. See, I knew. Dave's I, face. I had a feeling that they're not here. I had a feeling that we had a several re rolls. We're going after hours now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did pass 11, so I can speak on Juicy. <laughs> <laughs> as long as her name isn't moist. Yeah. Oh, man. All right. My wife despises that word. Oh, you yeah. You got to stop whispering it to her, buddy. <laughs> Three, two, <laughs> one. This is gonna. Oh, e, e Bone made an appearance. The legend E Bone. All right. So, no. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, this is the one. This is where it goes down. We're just trying to give you free money and products. Truly. I know. Like, let's just. Try the wizard's just putting money in your pocket. You could get a hundred dollars just to do whatever with. Literally, just money. All right. Okay, here we go. I believe this person is here. I think I saw the name. Here's our reroll, and here we go. John H. Are you in the building? Yeah, I think most women on this planet do not like the, the term moist. She really doesn't. I, yeah, like it, 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 Rob's still here. He said, I'm still here. Don't don't worry about me. I am here. <laughs> right. I feel don't like John's wait here. Wait till they start putting gushy on the sweatpants. Hey, whoa. Hey, <laughs> somebody comment that? <laughs> yeah, gushy. Oh, jeez. All right. Oh, we it's did go from a hubble to a hubble. That is wild. Hey, he is here, guys. Throw a congrats in the chat for Bearded John. <laughs> Woo! I told you I called that. He did. He did. I knew exactly how many. I don't know how. I just simply, simply knew. All right, John, scrolling down at the bottom, contact customer service at fablebeardco.com. They need your government name, and they need your shipping address, and, and you've got it. Again, everybody else. The Fable Vault is live for one week. One week, and then it goes away forever. This one, at least, it's it's gone mm -hmm. at this point. All right, we're gonna we're gonna work round round robin here for some final sign offs. 
Mr. Mo, the bearded shark. It is Shark Week. I love shark content, your content, but also shark content on TV. It's just so fascinating. <laughs> Mo, any final words for the people in the chat right now? Man, it's been a blast. We hit 400, not 100, not 200, not 300, but 400. It's been amazing. Colin, everything that you've ever done for us, thank you so much, man. I cannot wait to celebrate many, many more years with you. Dan, Dave, you guys are amazing friends of mine, and thank you guys so much for everything you do for this community. All the people in the chat, you guys get on this Fable Vault. It's amazing. It's like it's like being a kid in a candy store. You don't know what you're going to get inside that beard butter. So it's awesome, guys. But thank you so much, Dan, and everybody in here. Yeah, Dave, hit them. Hey, Dan, thanks for having us on here, man. I love it when we all get to hang out together. Mo, Colin, thank you so much, Colin, for all the, the years of support. And he's been like around, y'all have been around through all loving, awesome aspects of myself. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I can't wait to see what's going to happen with Fable this year. You guys are in for some fun stuff. It's crazy awesome. Um, but I wish nothing but success to all these guys on screen and all you guys in the comment section as well. But these guys, I hold a little near and dear. We've been pretty good friends. And I've gotten to meet Dan. And I finally get to meet Mo and Colin here uh, next week. So it's going to be really cool that I'm going to sure. know everybody that I've talked to for three years in this community. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it's going to be pretty awesome. So cool. And uh, for those that are asking, the uh, the code will, as Colin said, he is going to turn that off tonight. The new code will be emailed out to those that signed up for the vault. So if you've signed up, uh, even if you're not in the stream and you see this a couple days from now within that seven day period, if you sign up, the code will be emailed out. You'll be able to get in and, uh, and sign up for the vault. Um, these will be e these will be shipping out starting on uh, what I just commented there. July 26th, July 26th here. So, um, Colin, any, any final words, any corrections, any info that might be helpful? Oh, man. You know, final words. It, it, it really is gotten to the point where, um, you know, the, the big wave has come and I'm just sucked into it. You know, it, it, it really has turned into everything that uh, far more than – I could really ever imagine or hope for as far as a company and just far as people that we've worked with, you guys have been a part of the brand since the very beginning. And that support to grow that stuff is the reason why the legend series is what it is. We don't just do collaborations to try to gain uh, sales and profits off of your guys' influence, right? That's not how I ever was rolling off of any of that. Uh, the Legend series really is because I consider you guys my friends and value to the company far above and beyond anything that anybody sees on the front end. So I appreciate all of you. Um, as, as far as the future of Fable, I have no idea. <laughs> you know, I, I saw the guy from Virgin uh, rolling off in that spaceship a couple of days ago, and I don't see any reason why Fable can't do just as amazing things in the future. Um, we are definitely in this for the long run, and I'm excited to, to just create with all of you guys. It's really going to be amazing. But as a final note, we've lost about 100 people here, I'd say, in, uh, you know, leaving. Um, don't do that, you know, because I really just want Dan to just do another banker box giveaway at the end for all the people who thought it was over. I'm like, come, on, I'm <laughs> come on, what? That's stupid. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> but That's in awesome. all seriousness, I love all three of you. That is awesome. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we're gonna have we're gonna do something in the chat, not a gleam sign up because that's gonna be the most efficient way because we have we have everybody here, everybody in. Very, very excited for this. Now, the only question would be random number, trivia question, something along those lines here. Hmm. What do you guys think? Random number, trivia question? Take it back. Oh, lots of hard ones out there. It's been a while since you've done a history question or like oh, any yeah. kind of trivia question. That yeah. is true. That is true. I'm trying to think of a maybe a fable question. Do we want a fable question or do we want a wizard question? Ooh. 
Because there are some people who know about the swole nurse and the wizard's past life and have been around and listened to the wizard's stories and be very interested to know if uh, anybody had this information. Okay. So a little on the, let's see how creepy people can get. Huh? Okay. <laughs> Do you, let me see where we're at here. Do you have you want to send me the question on Instagram? Oh yeah, yeah, let's do that. Or private chat in StreamYard. Whichever. I can't find the private chat. Mine it doesn't show for my. Oh no, there it is. Yeah, yeah, it's weird. It only shows me private chat. There's a tab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. What is the button that says private oh, chat? Right? Oh, can I? Can I? Can you want me to private chat it? Yeah, do that. Now this is going to be another giveaway, and this was just to see who was actually here for the stream, who was actually here to hang out. And it is going to be for the oil, the butter, the co-wash with the money in the butter here. With the money in the butter here. And guys, this even if you haven't been around, this is something you could guess. All right? Keep that in mind. This is something that there could be a random guess for sure. And guys, please understand that it is impossible to get to all these comments tonight. Uh, if you need any help, reach out to to Fable Beard Coat, they have a full staff that's going to be willing to, to help and, and answer your questions. So um, doing all caps and trying to spam that we missed a comment, uh, that, that isn't productive for the stream. So just kind of keep that in mind. Okay? I'm going to be either very surprised uh, or very alarmed at the speed of which this is answered. <laughs> True. And, and, and I do mean this. Even if you don't know, you'll be able to guess. There, there's some general aspect of guessing here. Okay. True. Sure. So, only answer once. It is a giveaway time. Bow, 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 bow. Uh, giveaway. What is Joe Exotic out of prison? Ooh, free Joe Exotic. That's uh, awesome. Uh, that's what I'm seeing. Pete, Pete said in the comments. We need a full a full series if that is true. All oh right. Oh my gosh. So. Only answer once. Please understand the internet prioritizes your answer over everyone else. What that means is when you hit enter, it shows up on your screen right away. That doesn't mean it's what shows up on the order of our screens or my screen, the one that will be really just checking to see where the winner is here. I will tell you, the and again, only enter once. If you enter more than once, you are disqualified. The answer is a two-word answer. Two-word answer here. So please keep that in mind as you're going through. Two words only, not less, not more. Two words. Colin, when I first knew him, he actually had a YouTube channel known as The Swole Nurse, where it was a powerlifting, weightlifting YouTube channel. His wife, actually, the princess, has a very successful YouTube channel on, on uh, day planning, and it was awesome. She really knew social media, which is actually very valuable. But the question is, what type of nurse was the wizard, the swole nurse. Two-word answer, what type of nurse was Colin? Okay. Let's see here with your answers for everybody that, that we have here. A swole what? nurse? Oh, Not okay. a swole nurse. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. What type of nurse? Oh, man, there they go. All right. And I'm going back through here. I'm going to go in order and see if we have any... And there is a specific, I'm going by the, the answer that <laughs> he is not uh, what Mo answered. Uh, <laughs> all right. So I'm going to go with, with what Colin has as the answer. Okay. And Colin, if you see one with it, you can comment in the private chat, but I'm working my way down. And I'm getting you guys only answer once. I'm, I'm thankful that people didn't know this right off the top. Of that would have been creepy, yeah. <laughs> and you cannot answer the – you cannot argue the accuracy of the answer. This is that because I'm just going by what he has. I don't know any of this stuff. Okay. I don't see it. No, I've gone through. There has not been one Ooh. yet. And that's okay. If we don't have one, we'll, we'll go with another – yeah, we can roll another question. Yeah, we'll go with another no. question here. I just saw Mo's private chat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> definitely after hours for that one. All right. <clears throat> dun, dun, dun. I haven't seen it yet either. Nothing yet here. I don't see it. Nope. We're going to give everybody a chance for a second. Okay. And I know some people are going to be like, but it was the, technically, it was the, it was the. Hey. 
calm it down. All right. <laughs> Three, two, one. All right. We're going to go with the stop here. Officially, nobody got this one. So we're going to go with another question. We're going to go with another All right, question. I got one. All right. Another question, question here. And the correct answer, Mr. Collin, Mr. Swole Nurse, what type of nurse were you? I was an urgent care nurse. Urgent care. Urgent care, which is different than the emergency room. It's mm -hmm. more specific than a registered nurse. All nurses are registered nurses. You got to, that's, that's what you are. You got to be registered, right? To be a nurse. Yeah, I think they were going with uh, RN versus LPN, which did, okay. did did make sense, but I was going for the job type. Yes. So the correct answer is urgent, urgent care, care. care. Urgent care. All right, I'm going to type a question in the in the private chat and see if you uh, if you like this question here and then Colin verify the answer if you like it. Okay. Urgent care is one word. <laughs> Somebody yeah. said, that's three words. No, <laughs> we're not so good at math here. I, I think that's too easy. Do you? I do. I like this one. Okay. Nobody's going to get that one. I've yeah, talked about it a lot. Okay. All right. We'll All right. Well, okay. Well, we'll go. Come on. They got to know that. The, the, the first question. Yeah. But How not about, Let's try the second question first. Okay. I'm All curious. Right. We get another think. question curious for you. Knows. And then if that one doesn't work, we do have an easier one. We do have an easier one. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. If this one doesn't work, you can roll with yours. Cause okay. Yeah. So the next question is again, only enter once on this one. If it's a new question and get a new entry here, this is going to be uh, a four word answer. Okay. Four words here with the last word being company or co, right? So three words plus company or co here. The question is, and I did drop a hint in there. The question is, what was the original name going to be for the company before Fable Beard Co? So what is the name? Dave is confused. Look at it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm looking at my it. screen over here. Trying to see I didn't know this one. Are. This, I didn't know this the one got me. All right. Forward answer. The last one is co or company. What were the first three words before Fable Beard Co? And yeah, I'll be impressed. Oh, Ooh, oh, I see it. Oh, 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 one I see it. I see wow. it. Yeah, okay. This is the first one. I the correct answer is. Keaton is Batman, 1991. This person has been paying attention. Wow. <laughs> as soon wow. as I saw it, I was like, boom. That's fantastic. So the short story behind that for people that don't know, when we were coming up with names, I always wanted to do characters and stories. But I thought I really like to do like the four horsemen of the apocalypse and have each character and theme around each one of the horsemen. And then uh, my wife, the princess, said, but what happens after the four? Ooh. And I was like, I have no idea. She said, well, then just call it Fable and just do stories in general. And now that's why we've done 70 characters at this point because there is no limitations. I like it. Man, that was super, super clutch. Yeah, that was cool. Awesome, awesome. Well, Keaton, scrolling down at the bottom, customer service at fablebeardco.com. Please make sure you reach out and uh, claim your victory. I did put down uh, your name on the sheet for count so you can verify if we need to. Um, that would be pretty cool. Billy, I like that idea. Yeah, me too. A That's Four good. Horsemen series? That would be appropriate Ooh. since we've never been able to do that. Ooh. Maybe four oils and one vault box. Dude, there have been Ooh, like man. way too many like creative ideas tonight. It's just like four <laughs> yeah. it's one of those nights. Welcome yeah. to my brain, man. Sometimes yeah, I'm just right. There, I'm like, oh, right. Thank oh, you, Kyle. Man. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. All right. Well, hey, sincerely, thank you to everybody. Thank you, Colin. Thank you, Mo, Dave, everybody in the chat. Biggest stream on this channel's history. Uh, 
that that's saying a lot. I mean, we've had some massive, massive streams featuring Fable, featuring other amazing content creators, all this stuff. Super cool. On a random Thursday night, <laughs> dropping that. Wow. So cool. Guys, girls out there, please post on social media when you get your banker packages. I think that's going to be so fun. So that's cool. going to be yeah. so much fun. If there are any outstanding questions or issues, please reach out to Fable. They have fantastic customer service. They get a team ready to help you out and, and do whatever they can to, to answer your questions and to assist you with any issues. This is going to be open for one week. This was the pre-release party. This was the pre-game. Share it. Let people know. The code is not going to work, but you can share the website. You can let them know how to sign up and how to get into it. Right? <laughs> I'm correct. Is that is that how they're going to get into the, the vault for seven days as they go to the website and sign up with their email? Yeah. So uh, you sign up with the email, and um, right now the code is going to be active for, I don't know, maybe the next 30 minutes or so after the stream, um, the code that's currently out there now, money. Um, but once that is closed down, you can't purchase it. You can sign up though at any time, uh, as long as you sign up before, I believe the email is going to go out at 7 AM, uh, central time tomorrow. Uh, but once that goes out, um, the code will be changed and you will have access to the vault and all of the glorious things related to the vault. And then once the vault shuts down again, the banker's gone. This isn't like, hey, we might bring it out later. This isn't, hey, we might do this. This isn't, hey, these are going to be in giveaway boxes. The banker will be gone. That will be the Fable Vault experience, and then the sign-up sheet will continue, and it, you snooze, you lose. A wrap. Uh, Johnny, thank you, man. And uh, Ken, that's a great question that you were leading to, where, where did the company start on a napkin? No. I was going to ask, what state did Fable begin in? So if you, you're not winning anything, but kind of cool points right now. In the chat, what state? I know the guys on screen know, but in what state did Fable begin? Because they're no longer in that state. Packed up, built a lab, brought his whole family, and uh, and made a move. Bet on himself. Pennsylvania? No. Nashville? That's not a state. No. Uh, and we do have... It All is right. a state. You don't know nothing about this Nash life. Nash Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> I stayed there one night in a real shady part of town. Oh, uh, it was, I stayed at a. This is how cheap I am. I stayed at a Knights Inn. Oh, was that like right next to the only White Castle within like three hundred miles? <laughs> Literally right next to it. <laughs> you, right guys next to it. you guys have it's White Castle. He knows what you're talking. It's a about. pretty rough. It's a pretty rough spot if you're walking around at night. It's. it's you guys have, were, uh, I'm not kidding. There were gunshots. Like it, it was <laughs> for sure rough. So yes, in Virginia, of course, is the correct answer uh, as they they go through. So yes. All right, guys. I don't want to go, but we are two and a half know, hours. Yeah, it, it's been it's been great. I'm glad I hopped on this time. Yes. And yeah. if anybody did not get a chance to hit a thumbs up, if you enjoyed yourself, it's going to take you less than two seconds. It is free. Please hit a thumbs up on the stream. Uh, we got Fable in the tags. We got these gentlemen in there. Their channels in the description. That's going to help out everybody. Treat others the way you want to be treated. I, I would greatly appreciate it if you just hit a thumbs up on the stream. And if, if all you do tonight is sign up for the vault just to see what's coming out in the future, it's not a bad idea just to sign up to play it safe. Yep. Cost you nothing. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. See you in the future. I appreciate you all. Stay bearded. Stay positive. Stay shark. Stay motivated. And everybody's got a story. Hopefully you keep your beard.